hello 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 everybody welcome on in happy monday oh my gosh the whole gang is here how are you all doing it's so lovely to see everybody how's it going how was everybody's weekend i oh i hope you all had a restful weekend i i did i did we got a lot of chores done we got some grocery shopping done listen it sounds kind of boring but Boy, oh boy, having having some food in the house, having some clean laundry done, there's nothing quite like it. You know, let me just sleep really quickly and I'll go over everything that we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing a just a fun little chill stream. So if you weren't on Twitch on Friday, um, you wouldn't have seen this. We built out a plant shop for our uh, little cat area. This is supposed to be a cat city. So uh, we got started on that a long time ago with this little cat cafe and the other day we built a plant shop. We have not decorated it yet. I think I want to leave that for uh, Twitch on Friday, the decoration, because we had some really funny ideas. And I'm thinking today what we're going to do is build out maybe the fish shop next door. This is basically going to be a spot where our, our cats, they can uh, go buy all the food and stuff that they need. So I think that's what we're going to do. We kind of set out a palette for that build today. So we're all set to go on it. We're just going to need some materials and stuff. So that's kind of the plan. That is indeed the plan today. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? It's so nice to see everybody. I hope you're all having a good one. No more sad cliff bars. <laughs> Listen, the cliff bars are great. The cliff bars are great, but yeah, you know what? Just li living off of cliff bars for the week was not that pleasant. <laughs> we got some, we got some good stuff. I have like lunch meats and stuff now that I can enjoy. You know, I got some, I got some real food. Oh, also, I'm just gonna fly over here because I don't think uh, the YouTube gang has seen this yet. So we finished off the entirety of uh, the storage room now. So we have like a really cute little area for smelting and stuff. Uh, we have a couple more places to put some other stuff. We still have some empty barrels that we can use, but we're pretty much good to go. So we're all good on that front. All right, let's fly over here and see what we need. I think I'm going to have to do some resource collection, which is all right because I have this shulker box. We're good to go for that. Um, I did kind of start organizing a couple of these chests as well because we had a lot of junk in them from our previous build. So this is a chest full of all the stuff that we've been using for this guy, which will probably use some of that today. And then same with all of this stuff, too. I was also <clears throat> kind of thinking I'm unsure. I'm going to see how it all looks when it's done, but I might change out all of this mud brick into stone. I don't know yet. I'm still kind of contemplating it, whether or not I should leave it. But I think once we get a couple more builds in, in here, I'll be able to kind of like have a better idea of what it's going to look like. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. All right. This is our palette for the fish shop. So we have a bunch of obviously we're going to be using blue. Uh, we could also incorporate some of the prismarine if we have any left. Um, I'd like to use oak. Can I see better on this side? Yeah, we can see better on this side because of the sun. So I was either going to go with the oranges or the sandstone, or honestly, we could probably somehow fit in both. We could probably somehow fit in both. So I'm kind of like leaning more towards like this for a classic palette and then maybe incorporating, incorporating in some of the oranges uh, throughout if we can. I'm probably going to make this footprint a little bit bigger. I'm thinking um, maybe just make it a little bit wider or something. I would love to get like uh, some columns and stuff going on. So that's kind of the plan for what we're going to do for this build. We're going to freestyle it and just see what happens. However, we are going to need a couple of materials. I'm thinking we're definitely going to need uh, a bunch of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to grab some more oak. I think we don't really have much and sand and sandstone. We should have in our um, in our storage. Oh, my gosh. Moon, thank you so much for the, the 20. What? Sorry, you can only see the top of my head right now because I'm flying. But Moon, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. GG's. Thank you so, so much. Love starting uh, my first full day of 28 with you. Thanks for being the best streamer and having the, the best community. Moon, I got I to gotta stop here for a second because I got to wish you a big old happy birthday. Big, big old happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful day yesterday. 
Hope you had such a wonderful day. And thank you so much again for that super chat. I really appreciate it, but I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Should DM me, I would love to hear all about it. Everybody wish Moon a big old happy birthday. Such, such a kind, kind human, such an amazing moderator. So big, big happy birthdays to Moon. Big happy birthdays to Moon in chat. I just uh, also saw mac and cheese for dinner. Yo, mac and cheese for dinner. I love a good old mac and cheese dinner. Also, Mrs. Dark Fairy, welcome on in. So nice to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Um, Adult Lunchables. Adult Lunchables. Listen, if I could eat Lunchables now, they're just kind of like too expensive these days. I used to eat Lunchables a lot. Let me tell you what, the pizza ones, but I would eat them cold. I wouldn't even cook the pizza. Were, were you supposed to cook the pizza? The pizza Lunchables? I don't think so. Our parents just sent us to school with like, just, <laughs> just those, it was basically, it wasn't raw or anything. It's not like any of the ingredients were bad, but like they probably would have been better warmed up. But for some reason, they just kind of hit different when they were cold, you know? They really did. What was everybody's favorite Lunchable? I also love like the classic stackers, like the, um, the ham and cheese ones. Oh, so good. So delicious. I kind of miss those, you know? Kind of miss those. Okay, I'm going to grab all of these. I think we're good. Who eats them warm cold for life? Honestly, at this point, I think if I ever tried one warm, I would be like something's wrong with them. For sure. For sure. All right, let's break this and let's head on out. Oh, let me check to see if I have any oak. I don't know if I do though. We might have to go collect some. That is a-okay though, because we have lots of time today. We are only just beginning. I still eat Lunchables. They're a good fast meal. Honestly, like whenever I saw them at the store, if they were on sale, sale I'd pick them up. They also have like adult Lunchables. I think they're like Schneider's ones where it's more like, ooh, charcuterie style. So like the salami's a little bit nicer. The cheese might be a little bit nicer, but honestly, just, just give me a good old classic Lunchable and I'm here for it, you know? I think those are just as good. They're too small now. See, that's that's kind of like one of the issues. I'm like, I just feel like they're not, the value's not there. But then at the same time, it's one of those things where Lunchables have such a specific taste that just slicing up a little bit of ham and cheese, it doesn't hit the same. And then you don't get the small like Kit Kat. The Nacho Lunchable, oh my gosh, I used to love that one. I found out that they were supposed to be warmed. Oh my gosh. All of us out here just completely eating like cold Lunchables. <laughs> oh, the, sh the shaker one, the chicken nuggets. Oh my gosh, I remember the chicken nugget ones. And also, do you remember the mini hot dogs? What are Lunchables? They're basically like these tiny little, I would call them snack trays. They were very popular growing up. Um, they basically come in different varieties. They're they're just like a quick little lunch for a kid to open up, eat. You can assemble like pizzas. You could assemble hot dogs. They also had like classic ones where it's like crackers with ham and cheese. And you used to get a drink on the side. I don't think they do that anymore. But um, now you get like a little like chocolate usually. That's that's stuck around. But you used to get like Capri Sun with them too. When I used to get the ones uh, with candy, like the crunch bars, I would sometimes put them on my pizza. <laughs> that's vile. <laughs> Listen, that's 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 coming from me where when I was in uh, elementary school, I used to wrap up uh, like M&Ms, Smarties, the Canadian ones, m and but M&Ms, if you don't know what Smarties are, I used to wrap those up in fruit roll-ups and eat them. <laughs> that was pretty nasty. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I eat most of my meals at work. The food here at the hospital uh, for the employees absolutely rocks. Oh, heck yeah. I'm glad you have like a good cafeteria because sometimes at places like that, the food is just like so mid, especially depending on the company. So, uh, so happy that you have some good meal shroud. I remember once you were like talking about lunch and I was like, that sounds so good. 
Love your chill survival series. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Also, thank you so much for popping into stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> you come into the food talk as usual. As usual, Lisa. As usual. <laughs> That's how it do be on these streams. Okay, I need to find more oak trees. Ah, oh, the wandering trader, bro. Why are you here? Why are you here? I do need some more sand, though. So let's grab that. I finished my Dark Oak Lake base. I posted it on Showcase. Oh, heck yeah. I'll have to check that out after. That was such a good find on this seed. So, so cool. I'll definitely have to check out your build after. Speaking of things that are great but made for kids on Crustables, listen, I had one for breakfast. I had one for breakfast. That's one thing I will just, like, not stop eating. Like, especially because the novelty is so new since they're new to Canada. I'm like, I can't stop and I won't stop. Sorry, just gotta scroll. Scroll ups. Crustables dipped in flour, then beaten egg, then panko, then fried. Wait, Azzy, sorry, I had to scroll up to see that message again. Are you talking about like a fried peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Sandwich or something? Like, is this what we're is this what we're talking about? Because that sounds delicious. You remember the Capri Suns and Lunchables? Oh, they were fantastic. I miss those days. I haven't seen one like that in a long time. They really made them a lot smaller in terms of ingredients and also just like the bonus stuff you get. Now it's like you gotta pack your own. Pack your own Kool-Aid jammer. Came for the Minecraft, stayed for the Lunchables discourse. Let's go, <laughs> let's go. I love Smarties, they're way better than M&Ms. Okay, honestly, I kind of prefer M&Ms more because the taste is so unique and Smarties, Ever since they kind of like changed them a little bit, I don't know what they did to them, but they're not, they don't hit the same. I miss the OG Smarties. Now they're kind of like gritty and stuff. I think because they changed the dye on them or something like that, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder what's wrong with you wrapping Smarties and m, &M in a fruit roll up. Listen, I don't know either. I don't know either. The worst part is I used to put them back into like the chocolate container and I would like show people, I'd be like, look at what I made. And people would be like, oh, that is so cool. Can I'll trade you. So then for a while, I started just like trading these like weird Smarties fruit roll up wraps that I had made for like really good candy. I don't know. This was around Halloween. For some reason, everyone thought they were really good. And I was just like getting their, their like actually good chocolate and candy because they just wanted to trade probably the novelty. They probably didn't even like it. Let's be real. They probably ate it. We're like, this is actually horrible, but it's too late to go back now. I can't ask for a refund from Drift. <laughs> I've already consumed it. Oh, gosh. Sophia, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. All our food talk is how I know the drift stream is where I belong. Listen, I, I love that the first thing we talk about is food. I'm like, chat, how's your weekend? Anyway, um, so let's talk about like really weird, obscure foods. <laughs> I think you need more leads. Looks at Wandering Trader. <laughs> the amount of leads I have scattered across my base because of the Wandering Trader is just like, it's sad. <laughs> I'm a monster chat. You can probably dip most things in flour, egg, and panko before frying, and it'll improve them. No, literally. I feel like that's what all, um, like, fair food is. When you go to the fair, I know Toronto's notorious for, it's called the Exhibition. Um, and pretty much everyone goes for the food. I haven't gone in years, though, because it's just, like, too busy. Not my vibe. But everyone goes for the fried food. And every single year, if you look up, like, blogs and stuff, people highlight, like, what food is the it food this year? And like, it's always something just wild. It's kind of crazy that at this point, deep fried butter is one of like the more tame options you can get at the fair. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's just, that's just wild to me. Also, how do you deep fry butter without it melting? I really don't understand that. What's going on with that? How do you, how does one do that? I don't get it. Smarties don't have the same uh, numbers and dyes thanks to the EU legislation. Now they're just kind of sad chocolate chalk. Yes! 
that's exactly how I would describe it. They're very like gritty and like the colors are like very like washed out and pastel -y. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you get like more natural dyes, but I swear it's like kind of altered the taste too somehow. It's really weird, really bizarre. I'm a businesswoman. Yeah, Lil, Lil Drift was was out there trying to... It was, just, it was like the same way where like I had friends who would make like friendship bracelets, except you know what? Those are actually like kind of cool. You go to them in the schoolyard, they'd be like, what type of bracelet do you want? And you'd be like, oh, I want like red and green and yellow. And they'd be like, okay, give me like one day and come to school tomorrow with a Pokemon card. And I'd be like, okay, got it. Got it. But like, that's actually kind of cool. Like a f getting an actual bracelet out of it rather than <laughs> my my hustle, which was Smarties wrapped in fruit roll up. That's just, that's just rancid. I tried, okay, I tried. I tried really hard. That's gonna be one of the thing I'll miss when I move to Texas, the amazing food here at work. Oh no, I hope uh, at, your, at your next job, the food's good though. Hoping it's good. Where am I right now? Oh, gotta go this way. Japan had one of the best sushi selections from when I lived there. Oh, I bet. I feel like uh, sushi in Japan is just like absolutely next level. I would love to go to Japan once one day. Would really love to go. It is on my list. It's it, booking a trip there seems very intimidating in some ways because I'd want to do it right because there's just like so much stuff I'd want to see and also like I don't know the next time I would be able to ever go back there so it's just like I think it requires a lot of planning. Obscure foods how about some meat and jelly from uh, Russia meat and jelly are we talking about like steak like m mint jelly type thing or like is that something different? Doing any more uh, Outcast series? You mean Castaways? Um, Castaways is over. We finished that up, but there is a full movie if you want to check it out. But as of right now, Castaways is all wrapped up and done. Uh, where's my wool? Ah, here's some. Excellent. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is this one eleven? I think it is. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, I think it's eleven. I don't think having two the same size is really an issue. <clears throat> I think as long as we're like, yeah. I think that's fine. You have to freeze the butter to be able to fry it. Okay, I see. And then like you just like flash fry it, and by the time it comes out of the uh by the time it comes out of the like fryer, it's just like not frozen, but also not melted. It just is. Who noticed the trader is literally everywhere you go? No, honestly, what's up with that? Like, dude, I'm fine, really. You don't need to follow me around, dude. It's all good. I don't know what his deal is. I don't even think I've tried deep fried ice cream either. I honestly feel like I'd like that though, probably. Deep fried pickles though, I'll tell you what, one of the best, one of the best deep fried foods is deep fried pickles with like a nice dip. Get like a little ranch or even like a, a dill, a dill dip, amazing. Aspen, welcome on in, how you doing? Okay, I'm gonna lay out the beginnings of this base. So I'm thinking, oh, you know what? I lied. I lied. I need, I do need a little bit of spruce. Trust me, spruce won't be like the main thing. It's just gonna be for like support beams and stuff, but we do kind of need a little bit more. Also, yeah, chat, if you are enjoying the stream, I know we've only been live for about 20 minutes, but if you're enjoying it, hit that like button. It really helps, helps out the streams. Full movie's great. Me and my dog love the playlist. Heck yeah. Aw, Leo, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. 
Any hints on the next SMP for you? Honestly, not nothing yet. Nothing yet. We're all just kind of like um, kind of vibing right now with uh, with our short short term worlds. Worlds, not short term. Single player worlds. But probably probably start dropping some dropping some hints soon. I love I love dropping hints when I can. But nothing as nothing as of yet. Nothing as as of yet. When's the next episode of Chill Survival? I'm glad you asked. It's actually going to be tomorrow. I have one scheduled for tomorrow. And then the week after, I have another long play uh, with commentary. And then after that, I don't really know. However, I was going to start 100 days. But problem is, I need to do a couple of big upgrades on my computer soon. Um, I've been having a little bit of trouble because some of these parts are getting a bit older now. So I have to take the plunge and fix some of them. So I was going to start 100 days, but I was like, man, if something goes wrong in the middle of me uh, working on a bigger project like that, that would just be brutal. So I'm going to hold off and I'm just going to probably do some more chill survival, some long plays for you all. But I do have plans for different types of videos in the future once I get the computer sorted, because I was like, there'd be nothing worse than accidentally something going wrong and not being able to work on it or losing footage. That would just stink for all of us. So probably probably the regular old content for the next bit and streams, of course, unless uh, for some reason that gets delayed, but should be all good. Whee. Is this the fish dispensary? Yes, we're going to be working on the, the fish dispensary today. Meat jelly when the uh, broth is so thick, it becomes jelly when it cools down. Listen, I don't know. That sound in theory that sounds bad, but I feel like I would I would enjoy that, you know. As long as it's like it's salty, it's I feel like it's probably just decent, you know. I also I don't know, I enjoy things like liver spread and stuff like that. When I was a kid, my, one of my favorite lunches <laughs> was, I mean like I feel like this is so normal in other countries, but obviously in Canada it's like if you don't have like a bologna sandwich. Oh, you're weird. But like, I really enjoyed uh, liver spread sandwiches when I was a kid. Re I mean, I still enjoy them. I just don't really buy it anymore. But that was one of my favorite lunches. And <laughs> people would always be like, Ew, and I'd be like, get over it. Come on. Come on. It's salty. It's delicious. I've never had deep fried Oreos. Same. I would like to uh, like to try it. Do you do hardcore videos? Not as of yet. I have played on a hardcore server before. I played on one shot, um, but I don't have any hardcore worlds at the moment. I would like to give it a shot eventually. Uh, I think that if Chill Survival, whenever that wraps up, the next series might be hardcore. I want to give it a shot. Something is going to get me. Something's going to get me. Get out of here, bro. No creepers around here because we have cats everywhere. My kids are finally getting to watch you live for the first time. They absolutely love your videos. If you could shout out Adrian and uh, Ariana, it would make their day. Aw, Adrian and Ariana, thank you so much for watching the stream. I really appreciate it. I hope uh, you and your fam are having a wonderful day. And thank you so much, Tony, for uh, popping in. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Stacking pizzas and Lunchables are the best. Oh my gosh. Yes, you make like the leaning tower of pizza, you know? You really do. It's so good. Drip doesn't do hardcore. She just face plants into jungle trees from time to time. If I want the rush. No, literally, Azzy. <laughs> you all have me figured out, okay? You have me all figured out. <laughs> it's so true, though. So true. Hardcore's scary, honestly. It's kind of scary. But I think now that I've, like, played quite a bit of Minecraft, I'm getting a little bit more confident. I'm a little scared still, but I think I think I could figure it out. You know, I do have faith. I do have faith. Also, Kinetics, thank you so much for the five. Time to go grab a coffee and uh and come Minecraft along play Minecraft along sleeve street sleeve sleeve stream. Thanks you thank you for getting me out of bed drift. Sorry, I really fumbled that sentence. I apologize. But thank you so much for the five. I really appreciate it, Kinetics. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful, uh, wonderful morning. Grab that coffee. Enjoy it. And thank you so much again for the five. 
big ggs big swags i really appreciate it really really appreciate it okay i'm gonna get started on the base of this build chat so what i'm gonna do is i need some shears i don't i think i put them all away uh minecraft steve how long does it take him to break wool a little bit of time i can i can work with that though you've been working on a wolf kingdom in minecraft yo nice that sounds awesome heck yeah i'm gonna strip mine while i watch so time passes oh you know what i love strip mining as long as i have like a good uh like podcast or stream in the background very 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 relaxing you you okay y'all dig the liver spread with some spring onions see let's go let's go you you know what's up all right so my idea for this fish um shop basically what i want to do i want it to be probably similar height to this the bottom floor will be the fish shop up top if it's like big enough i picture something like apartments the whole idea of this area is that it's going to be like a little just like a mini little more modern city than what we go for so that's kind of the vibe i'll go up with beams for the first maybe the first floor and then we'll figure out the second floor so one two three four okay that's good I'm kind of thinking of also making it so one, two, three, four, five. So there's like a five gap here and a three gap. I feel like that would look kind of cute. I want it to look a little bit like old, rustic. You know what I mean? And like, just, just a little imperfect. I must be uh, longing for a sweater the way I fumbled that sentence, listen honestly has anybody else is it how cold is it where you where you all are i know we're all in different places and stuff don't have to give don't give away your location because internet safety of course but uh how cold is it we got a really bad wave of cold the other night and it is freezing here my toes are cold i've been in like a sweater just like all morning i almost want to put a long sleeve under the sweater because i am just absolutely freezing right now chat came out of nowhere too we got like a little bit of snow over the weekend but it was constantly melting because it just like it was half raining half snowing super bizarre and then after that it just turned really cold and now i'm just sad <laughs> also tony thank you so much for the 10 thank you so much i really appreciate that chat you know what to do all the swags thank you so much big ggs i really appreciate it thank you thank you thank you for the kindness i really appreciate that all right i'm gonna just finish up the beams at the back here and then we'll figure out the beams for the side too Laura, we'll see you later thank you so much for popping in hope you have a good rest of your night for the shout out their jaws dropped all <laughs> thank you so much i really appreciate it negative two fahrenheit uh negative three at the morning was negative uh 23 overnight yeah we're in the negative 20s now and i'm just like you know what i think i talked about this a couple week weeks ago i got um a new jacket and i am forever thankful that i did because the weather has gotten so cold and i've been like walking um doing like a lot of walking around the city and stuff and for once in my life chat i am no longer freezing while i walk i've never had a proper jacket i don't know why well like when i was a kid of course because my parents were like i don't care if you hate this thing if you think you look lame you are warm in it and you are gonna wear it and then once like i grew up i was like this is fine like this this pea coat will do me just fine in a canadian winter it won't it won't get a proper jacket get a parka i got one that goes like to the knees oh my gosh i am like it's like i'm wrapped up in a duvet it's amazing 50 fahrenheit for you fahrenheit's a little confusing for me i'm not sure exactly what it is we all often have snow but now it's snowing see that's the thing like i know a lot of people from the uk when you like i don't i don't know where you live but like speaking from like 
experience of talking to friends that don't experience too much snow, it's wild how differently it affects you all because your infrastructure is just like not there. It's totally not there. So it's it's like a completely different experience, you know? I'm literally just using this granite to help me place the beams. I'll probably replace it later because I'm thinking of replacing all this stuff anyway. If anyone's wondering, Drift, what are you doing? That's the vibe. That is the vibe. It's cold over here and my feet are freezing. Listen, it's the frozen, frozen feet are just so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. I feel like it just makes everything else more cold. If that makes sense. Okay, I think that's good. We really don't get a winter here. Our winter is probably uh, your fault. <sighs> Listen, as much as I love Canadian weather, I would I would love to live in a place that still has seasons, but maybe doesn't get as cold as Canada, you know? I've heard um, the West Coast like Vancouver is like that. It mostly just gets like rainy at most in the winter and it's more uh, more moderate weather. I feel like I'd enjoy that. I would never want to forego like fall and stuff because it's just like absolutely magical. But I think I could do, I think I could live in a place that does a little bit more moderate climate. Zam, welcome on in. How you doing? Bushes and burrows, welcome as well. I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna need some warped planks to go in here, but I'm just gonna lay this uh, design out first. So for anybody just popping into chat, what we're doing is we're building a fish shop next to the plant shop. Um, so the general palette is lots of blues with uh, the sandstone and the oak. However, we might place some of this orange in here too. I have a winter coat and I've used it for over 20 years. Uh, it's a double breasted uh, pon poncho cloak. However, it's uh, five pounds of wool that goes to the middle of my shins. That sounds like super heavy. Very, very heavy, but honestly, like the fact that you haven't gotten rid of it is a testament to probably how warm it keeps you. Like that thing will last you forever as long as it's like, it doesn't rip or anything. I think my jacket will last me quite a long time too, which I'm really happy about. Cause that was, a, that was the problem. I was like constantly getting, like having to replace my jackets cause they just weren't warm enough. And I bet you any money I was just spending I was spending more money doing that than if I had just gotten a proper one. I felt like such a fool, chat. Such a fool. But now I know. I know the importance of a warm coat. Plus, Big Tiny Duck, she was like ready to end, end my life if I didn't get a warm one because she's like, bro, just even watching you stand outside in the cold while, while she's bundled up, she's like, I felt pain for you. <laughs> Two years ago, it snowed really bad in Greece for a day or two, and the literal highway to Athens was full of cars stuck in the snow. This country isn't made for extreme weather. That is so scary. That's what I've heard for like certain parts of the UK too, where it's like, you guys don't have the infrastructure that we do in Canada. If it snows, like even before it starts snowing, the snow plows, like they're already starting to like preemptively salt the streets. And then as soon as it starts snowing, the salt, like the salt trucks and the snow plows are out again. They're out all night like constantly like plowing the roads and stuff. And obviously sometimes they're not gonna be able to get everything, but we have all that stuff in place that it doesn't affect us as bad as you guys. And also don't forget our winter tires and stuff too. Like we just have so many things at our disposal compared to uh, how it is for all of you who don't, don't live here. So when you do get hit, it's just like absolutely brutal, I bet. something like that is good i 
think I'll do oak on the bottom and then kind of like move to the sandstone for the top floors, if that makes sense. Uh, I need some more flooring. I'm just gonna place some dirt for now. Yeah. Mar, welcome on in. How you doing? Nice to see ya. I hope you're having a good one. Do you need a little bit more dirt? Has a built-in hood and scarves. I just carry uh, gloves in the pocket. I wear a heavy top and a sweater and I'm usually warm enough. Honestly, the yeah, one trick I learned was layering. I feel like nobody tells you that until like one day you just have to figure out figure it out on your own that the trick to staying very warm, chat, layer. We got the leggings. We've got the socks. Double socks don't really work so much. Uh, wool socks work the best, but you got all of that stuff. You got like a long sleeve. You got a short sleeve underneath that. You've got a sweater. Layering is just so key to staying warm in the winter. So good. I've always wanted to experience a snowy winter. Uh, seeing as I shiver in 45 weather, I don't know if I could handle it. Honestly, I think it's one of those things where like it will, de it would definitely affect you because you're not used to it. But I think you would kind of like adapt and get used to it as well, especially as long as you're bundled up. I think eventually you'd be like, oh, okay. The amount of snow we get in the UK, you can clear it up with a dustpan and brush. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> you like go outside in the morning. You're just like, well, <laughs> time to do some sweeping. It's like sweeping up dust in the morning. <laughs> I love that. Meanwhile, it's like sometimes I have to like dig my car out. I remember one of the last storms that we got. It was so bad that uh. I had to, like, we had to go outside, shovel our car out, like, three times throughout the day just so it didn't get snowed in. I mean, it still did get snowed in. You couldn't see it. And then we had to, like, keep shoveling it out. It was wild. It was super fun, though. That was a fun day. Uh, oh, yeah, I need a little bit more of this stuff. It's a nightmare, but glad I got groceries on time. Oh my gosh, yes. Getting groceries before, like, um, just before anything, like, honestly, before, like, big storms hit and stuff, always try to get that grocery shopping done. Sometimes it's not always possible, but... we. If you can manage the grocery shopping beforehand, it always helps out so, so much. Gotta go, no worries, uh, bushes and burrows. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good rest of your day. I think I have a little bit of mud and stuff in here. I'm just gonna try to fill in some of the floors. I know I'm doing like a really bad patch job, but here we are. Cass, welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see ya. Also, my weekend was great. We um, we just kind of like hung out around the house. We got some groceries done. Very, very thankful that we did that. Oh, and also we we saw the, the Mean Girls movie slash musical and I really liked it. I wasn't sure how I was gonna uh, enjoy the movie and they did a really good job. I, I'm not really a huge musical person either, uh, but I thought it was, just like super fun, clever. It was just a good time all around. There were like a lot of callbacks to the OG movie as well, which was kind of cool. Layers like ogres. Exactly, Azzy. You get it. You get it. Oh yeah, I gotta switch the path of the sun. Hold on a second. Sky. Boom. 
There we go. Now I can see a lot better. Nice. You smelled a, s a snowflake today, so I had to put on a tactical turtleneck. Very suave. Very suave indeed. I love a good turtleneck. I haven't worn one in a long time. Turtlenecks used to be like the thing to wear um, when I was younger, and I'm like, they're kind of hard to find now. They keep you so warm. Never seen snow, but I really want to. Honestly, if you ever get the chance, it, it's cool. It's I would say it's very magical feeling. Snow, snow does have like a very magical quality to it. Kind of makes you feel like you literally are in like a little wonderland. It makes everything very quiet and silent. It's cool. Three, four, five. Okay, we're going to go up five on this one as well. Two, three, four, five. One, two, oops. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Ow. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. That uh, small amount of snow is enough to bring Southern Rail to total bankruptcy. I'm assuming the rail system, like when it snows, like it cannot operate, which is wild because like, unless it's like really, really bad, our, uh, our trains still run. I mean, even our planes still fly in and out unless there's like a blizzard, which is wild. Wild to think. They do that whole like de-icing and stuff though. Cinnamon, welcome on in. How you doing? The Dark Oak Lake is cool and all, but living there is dangerous. The mobs just coming out of nowhere is frightening. That's what Brooke told me about living in the um, in the Dark Oak Forest. I remember when she did her series, she was like, it was super fun, but it was also just like pure chaos because of that. I feel like it'd be a fun challenge, though. Do you ever make a creative mode multiplayer series? Honestly, probably not. Cre I really do enjoy like making series out of um out of survival. Creative is kind of more so where I go just to like hash out ideas and stuff. I think if I um I think if I did like bigger builds and stuff like that, like I focused more on building, I would uh I would definitely do something in creative. But it's it's more so a space for me just to like kind of figure out what I'm going to do in like episodes. It's my first time seeing uh, your stream and I've been keeping up with your Castaway series. Oh, Cam, thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. And I'm glad you're enjoying the Castaway series. Heck yeah. That was a real fun time. Real fun time. One time your road uh, froze over. Oh my gosh. F uh, freezing rain causing like slick conditions terrifying absolutely terrifying i've driven in situations like that before and it's it's literally never easy like it is uh what do they call it like white knuckle those that's like a white knuckle moment where you're just like gripping on your steering wheel hoping you just make it out alive You went swimming and studied. I'll not be active in chat as much today because I need to finish some assignments for school. No worries, Cass. Appreciate uh, having you pop in, though. And I hope all of those assignments are going well. Glad to hear you had a good weekend as well. Drift just casually moved the sun. <laughs> Aliens trying to find Earth be like, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I know technically like the beams here indicate that like there should not be something like next to it, but I'm just I'm just going to roll with this. I'm going to roll with it just to close off the space. I need to sleep, though. Snow's great uh, to look at with a mug of hot chocolate laced with Bailey's a book, huh? Oh, snow. For some reason, I, th I thought you said sun. 
yeah, no. Snow is great to look at. You know what? Being in snow, if you have the proper, proper attire, you're good to go. Trust me. If as long as you're bundled up, that's what I'm saying. As long as you're bundled up, jumping into snow, like in a fresh snowfall, oh, nothing like it. Nothing quite like it. You also love the one block skyblock series. Let's go. So glad you enjoyed that series. That was a fun one. That one that that's been like almost a year now since I've done that. It was a really fun time though. What a challenge. I would love to try like traditional one block um someday, I think. Or not one block. Traditional sky block. Because one block is the variant to that. But uh one block is also really fun. I'd love to see what I could build now with it. I feel like now that I'm a little bit quicker uh, playing Minecraft, like I'm literally just just a bit faster than what I was before, I feel like I'd have an even better time. What's your current hobbies? Mine is dance. Oh, dance. That's awesome. Dance feels like one of those ones where I don't know. Learning, learning to dance would be so fun. Very, very intimidating. But once you get the hang of it, that'd be super fun. My hobbies at the moment, honestly, I kind of fell off on some of my hobbies and I'm hoping to get back into some of them. Uh, I would say some of my hobbies right now would be like, I don't even know. I just played Fortnite recently. It's so bad, chat. I used to play guitar. I used to read a lot more. Reading we kind of got back into, fell off of that again. Chat, I need to be better. I need to be better with some of my hobbies. I did play a lot of guitar a couple of years ago, though. Would love to get back into practice with that. We had a huge snowstorm a couple days ago, but we had a uh, gale force wind, which which unfortunately caused a lot of damage to your house. Oh, no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, the winds are brutal. That's that's really what can like um, be the most dangerous is when you just have like extreme extreme wind and stuff can knock over so many things currently trying to organize my minecraft pinterest board and it's a mess i made this thing to get build ideas but they're all over the place oh my gosh so is mine mine is terrible i actually haven't looked at mine in like a hot minute because of that i totally feel that though it's not in a good state right now i should probably do the same thing honestly Oops. You have to go to school. Hope you have a great day. No worries. Hope uh hope you have a great day at school. Hope it all goes well and we'll catch you later. Glad I could catch stream, but finally, uh finally, but now I'm off to the gym. Have a great one. No worries. Hope the gym sesh goes well. I did this wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I did. But I hope the gym sesh goes well. Good luck. Whoops, I gotta fix this quickly. My entire choice when I'm in snow is an entire house. <laughs> I love to have a whole warm and cozy house wrapped around me. I like being indoors basically. Honestly, same. Same, let's be real. <laughs> I do love like outdoor activities. I love going skating and stuff, but there's nothing like going uh, to do those outdoor activities and then being at home and warming up that feeling of warming up after you've been outside in the cold after a long day nothing beats it i'll tell you what <laughs> it's so funny because it's true would love to see you do more minecraft challenges oh absolutely ow i would love to do some more challenges for sure i'm Definitely, um, once I get my computer kind of fixed up and ready to go, I'm definitely going to start some other different types of videos. So I mentioned before I want to do a hundred days. Um, I would love to do some more like one off challenges, maybe even like a short term series again. I love doing short term series. So definitely all those things will be coming back for sure. 
these are this one's gonna be a little bit higher than um than this building because i think we only went four blocks high i kind of like it though if this one rests a little bit higher than it i think it's looking good so far maybe what we'll do is the trim will be orange like the trim on top that's how we'll incorporate it want to start making minecraft content but don't want to add commentary because i hate my voice honestly okay first of all i'm sure you have a lovely voice i felt the same way when uh beginning to make minecraft content could try out long plays long plays are always really fun it's a good experiment on like how to create content you know what i mean because there's not too much going on but i felt the same way when i first started i was very self-conscious about my voice but i i eventually i eventually uh just took the plunge with that as well and here we are it takes time though, especially when you're putting that out there to the public, you know? I understand it. Okay, five high. Pluto, welcome on in. Devin, welcome on in. How you doing? Okay, so five high. I don't think that's too high. That's gonna rest a little, just like a little bit uh, taller than that building. I think that's a good thing though. We don't want them all to be the same height. So I think that'll be good. Should do an only cave series. You would love to see the builds. Oh my gosh. I would love to do another cave type build. Honestly, maybe even in this world, we could do a little stream project uh, eventually. I Because I've done lush cave builds before, and they're so fun. I would love to. Sorry, th uh, thinking of starting an ASMR channel. Let's go. That's so exciting. Oh, my gosh. Do it. Do it. I mean, it's one of those things also where, like, even if you... The best thing about YouTube is you can post things unlisted private if you want just to like get a feel for it until you're comfortable or you can just absolutely send it and post that stuff right away right that's the best thing you you always have options when getting started okay we're just gonna need a little bit more sandstone and stuff that cat scream yeah, I think that looks good. I'm almost wondering if it's like, okay, so I have the oak here, sandstone up here. I wonder if it would look weird if I did oak up here and then sandstone again. Actually, yeah, it would. It would have to be like all oak across. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions. No, I think I'll go sandstone. Are you going to do another um, 100 days in better Minecraft? Absolutely. Oh, wait, no, not better Minecraft. Not better Minecraft. I have another idea. I do have another idea. I am going to do something better Minecraft related eventually, though. I really enjoyed uh, that mod pack, so I'd like to explore it again. But it, I don't think I'm going to do another 100 days in it. But I am, however, doing another 100 days soon. Also, what are we working on right now? So we're working on the fish building um, for our cats. I, I was going to decorate this interior today, but then I was like, I think I'd rather leave that for Twitch on Friday because that's kind of where we started it. So I think this build I wanted to work on today instead. Going to play some Fortnite if your friends are not on Minecraft. Let's go. Fortnite is so fun. Um, oh yeah, I need the slabs back. Mortar in the background, they're looking like, hmm, what you doing? Yeah, it's like, um, please play, please pay attention to me. Why aren't, why aren't you building me? Sorry, Mordor. We got distracted again. You know what? That little village there is really starting to bring stuff together we'll, we'll get back to it we will get back to it i promise i promise chat 
I forget why we even decided to work on this cat city. I think it's because we finished our storage and we were like, now what? <laughs> and then we just like kind of panned over to this area and we were like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot about classic cat city. Hate drawing people realistically. Oh my gosh, drawing? I don't under I just don't understand how people do it. How do you all draw? How do you conceptualize something in your mind and put that on paper? What's that about? What's it like to be so talented? It's wild. What about one of those waterfront shops having a speakeasy under that uh and a tunnel that takes you to an underwater lounge? Oh, I like that idea. That's good. That's a good one. Okay, save that one because we're doing something kind of similar here. This, um, what Cass said, we're going to have the catnip basement in this one as well. But a speakeasy over there would be really cool. I like that. I'm a new subscriber for about two months. I really like your builds and play style. Oh, thank you so much, Anna. I really appreciate that. And welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good one. Also, Fries, welcome on in. How you doing? I can't believe it, chat. The sun's out. We haven't seen the sun here in like, it feels as though it's been weeks, I'm pretty sure. But we're actually having a couple sunny days. That kind of always seems to happen when it gets, you know it's super cold when the sun comes back out in the winter. It's really bizarre. As soon as it hits like night, like negative 20, the sun's like, let's go. You know, you're in for a cold, crispy time outside. There we go. Yeah, I think like orange rooftop is the way to go with this one. I'm at 39 sections and counting with my Pinterest board. Oh my gosh. Does anybody know um, good builds and tutorial ideas for towers? I'd like to build an enchanting tower, something simple. Ooh, I'm sure YouTube has a lot of um, stuff, but I think I think I've seen Sev do like an enchanting type tower as well. I don't know if she has a tutorial for it, though. You can definitely check out her channel. I know she at least has a video on it, and it's a really nice build. Super nice. So far, all the SMPs I've watched you and Brooke have been very close. Do you know each other IRL or, or is she uh, your best friend? Okay, so me and Brooke, we don't know each other IRL. Honestly, I would love to meet Brooke IRL sometime. Um, But we have literally been on SMPs together since like... Both of us, well, actually, Brooke started YouTube a little bit more uh, before me, but we have been on SMPs together for so long that we just like have completely vibed like throughout the entire thing. Like it, it is wild. It is wild how we've been. I think we started on Imperial together. She was one of the first people I interacted with. And ever since then, we've just always been like big homies. Same with like, um, like Sev Froggy too. They've been around for a long time. Me and Blockdown. I mean, me and Blockdown have met IRL too. So we are like, even though we live far apart, we are IRL best buds too. It's definitely one of those things where when you start working together with people creatively, you really just like really get to know somebody, especially because there's so much time talking in between that eventually you just get so comfortable with each other. And I'm very grateful for that. The sun's just hanging there in the sky, taunting you with all the warmth you're not allowed to have. Literally. Literally, that is what it's like in the winter. Top of the hour, make sure you're keeping hydrated. Have a quick leg stretch. Oh, I'm going to drink some water. Also, I need to close my curtain quickly. The sun. It's bothering me. There we go. Good. Drink some water quickly. You all should too if you uh if you need to hydrate. Love you.
your videos uh, so much. It's really been entertaining me since I don't know what to watch on YouTube anymore. I love you and Brooke so much. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate the love and support. Bringing an image from the brain to paper is super hard, but practicing drawing basic shapes and using references is key to improving in drawing. I think that's what it is. Like, I say drawing is so hard. What the, the heck? But I've also like never given it a fair shot either. You know, it's one of those things where I'm like, I really need to like, the, the thing is it's practice makes perfect. Alicia, welcome on in. How you doing? Happy Monday, fam. Aubrey and I are just wanting to say hello to you in chat. Well, hello you uh, to uh, you, Alicia and Aubrey. I hope you're both having a wonderful day. So nice to see you both. Hope the weekend treated you well. Ugh, I summoned... Looks like I summoned blocked down. Blocked. Blocked down. Why did I call you that? Homie, what's going on? I literally mentioned your name and you appeared. What is that? What is that? You've got the, the stinky sense. Bones, welcome on in. How you doing? Liam, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a great day as well. Also, chat, if, you, uh, if you're enjoying the stream and you want to hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. Re it really helps out the streams on YouTube, so really, really appreciate it, but also no pressure. No pressure. Okay, I need a little bit more sand. Since block down's here, I'm gonna say, I need some sand. I like how that is literally a clip from our build challenge that probably nobody remembers. <laughs> Cause it was just such a one random little quip that I said, I was making fun of you for saying I need sand. And now I say that in my everyday life, I need some sand. What are we building? We are building a fish shop in our cat village. So right now we have a plant shop, which is gonna have um, a catnip basement. We have a cat cafe, and this is going to be our fish shop. I wanna try to make one of those, those like little fish statues at the top too. Never, I've never done that before, and it's probably gonna be a disaster, but I'm happy to try. Great artists are just people that don't mind falling over and over to get what they want. James, that is the truest sentence I have ever read. It, it's actually so true. I love that though. What a great uh, way to describe it, honestly. Just all hard work and practice, honestly. And having no shame and failure. I guess it's similar to like the same thing with Minecraft with like building and stuff. I mean, I'm still learning every single day on how to build certain things. And one of the things is always like, um, it's just practice, you know, just lots and lots of practice. No one saw that video. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. You don't have to come in here and just rub it in. <laughs> That nobody watched it. <laughs> okay. Whatever, man. <laughs> All right, we need some, I need some sand. We do need some redstone. I wanna get some acacia wood actually for the top of this as well. I don't know what type of rooftop I'm gonna do though. Something similar to this. We shall see. Oh, I need to do the spruce trim, too, before I finish anything else. Literally love your building style. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I can't- I cannot build and talk at the same time. Oh my gosh. That actually took me a lot of practice. I still struggle sometimes. I do have my moments where, surprisingly, I stop talking. But it's something- it, it's like everything else, it's practice for sure. Okay, that's enough. Now I just need to go get some acacia. Heck yeah, that's looking pretty cute so far. 
I like it. I might want to incorporate like a little bit more blue, probably into the overhangs and stuff, but I think it's looking good. Uh, shulker, shulker. Bed? And shulker box. Oh no. Oh wait, it's right here. Perfect. I need some acacia. I think I'm gonna go just straight up over to the savannah after I get some rockets. Just seeing if I have any more anywhere else first. I think uh, Minecraft builders can be considered artists. Minecraft is like its own art medium and people create so many amazing things with it. Honestly, it's so true. Like, especially, I mean, just everybody I know has like their own artistic style with Minecraft builds, which is incredible. Like so many talented friends. Then you see like some of the um, things people do where they do more like organics. There's different types of builds that people really excel at. Large scale builds, there's so many different things people do within Minecraft. That's so, so cool. I think that's why people like this game so much is just that it can literally, you can do anything you want with it. It's crazy. When I start a world, uh, when trial chamber, chamber, chambers, oh my gosh, drops as final, I'm gonna leverage the new cartographer feature and get maps for each of the seven major biomes. Then I'm gonna build a base in each area and link them with paths. That is such a great idea, Azzy. I feel like that's kind of exactly what they're hoping people do as well with the new update. I think they really just wanna push exploration. Although it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge in some ways, I really do think that's kind of, they just want people to get out of their comfort zones and build in different areas, explore the map more, which I, I think is a pretty cool concept. And I like that you're leaning, leaning into that as well. Also Lisa with the 10, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Big GG's try, you know what to do. All, all the swag, all the hype. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Creativity comes in many forms. Have a question though. Cat village, huh? Then where are all the cat trees and the in and out tunnels? <gasps> You're so right. Why are there no cat doors? I have regular doors, but I don't have cat doors. We could do like little trap doors for them to get in. Oh my gosh. You just like, that question just sparked. Such a good thought. I never even considered that. Thank you. Thank you for the 10. And also thank you for asking that question because you're so right. So right. We're definitely, okay. We're going to have to add like little cat doors. We do have a cat tree uh, in the cat cafe. If you go upstairs, you'll, I'll show you guys. Cause I don't think I, uh, some of you have seen that build before, but there's like a little cat tree that they can like climb and stuff. But cat doors we don't have so got the bed thank you chat thank you chat it's snowing in texas right now huh that ain't right the last time it snowed in texas didn't it like cause major problems with like pipes bursting and stuff because i mean it's texas you all don't have the uh infrastructure for snow so it gets kind of scary i remember when that happened like a lot of people were like haha like people in texas don't know how to do snow and it's like it's not even that they just don't have the equipment to deal with it like that's scary your houses aren't built for those temperatures they're built differently than ours Yeah, Minecraft is all about the freedom to do what you want. Exactly. That's why I love that, like, I don't know, there's there's pretty much like a play style for, for everyone, whether you want to play in like creative. We, we have this conversation a lot in chat because a lot of us run peaceful mode as well, which uh, a lot of people argue, they're like, well, you're just like cheating and not playing the game, but it's like Minecraft has it there as a game function. Of course you can play it however you want, you know? I don't think it makes you any less of a Minecraft player. Some people literally just want to collect resources and vibe. Is that such a bad thing? I don't think so. I love playing peaceful mode. Like even when I do uh, long plays, it's so fun. You, you get to just like absolutely run into a cave, not a care in the world. It's like freeing in some ways. 
And then some people like love the grind of like big projects. Others like smaller projects. You know, there's so many different ways to approach it. And that's the beauty of it. Ooh, need an aquarium too, absolutely. In the fish shop, we should get like a little aquarium wall or something. That would be super cute. HB, welcome on in, how you doing? Hope you're having a good one. Sayana, welcome on in as well. Some people have a lot of anxiety about losing their hard work. That too, like, I understand, like, hardcore is, um, the beauty, I understand the beauty of it, of, like, having a world that's technically temporary, but also for me, that would be so hard, where if I died and lost all of that work, I think I'd be devastated, you know? I really think I would be just, like, completely gutted. Trauma of all your stuff burning up in lava or a creeper exploding a whole portion of your house. Exactly. Absolutely. I mean, like, sometimes it's like the damage done in Minecraft, like, it's brutal. Even if you think about it, I find that, um, I find that the timer on, like, the fact that your stuff has a time limit to expire when you go collect it, like, that's brutal. We've, um, we've encountered some issues with that before where I've almost lost my stuff and we had to be so strategic getting it back on stream. It was actually scary. I remember like almost like, <laughs> I was like almost in tears. Like we managed to do it and it was a fun challenge. And for me personally, I can take that. But at the same time, I'm like, man, I understand like why people might not want to play like that too. Especially if you have such limited time, you're like, I'm just getting home from work. I want to like vibe. <laughs> build like a cute little castle and then log off i don't want to lose all my stuff gotta do some laundry no worries hope it all goes well why don't you use the middle wall so both shops share the aquarium honestly that could be a good idea too could do like a double aquarium. I wonder if that means we could see into each shop from the other side. You could then, right? Crying right now because of the assignment. Can't I write an interaction between two people instead of drawing it? Oh my gosh, I get that frustration. But if I had to do something like that, I'd probably cry. I could write about an interaction, no problem. Drawing that, on the other hand, that is a challenge. That's why I have some form of grave uh, mod. Also, things like minimap. Absolutely. Minimap has helped me so much, by the way. Even um, seed hunting, because I do a lot of seed hunting for long plays and stuff like that. I use it to kind of like mark specific areas along a map that I like it's so so helpful i agree that the grave mod though is nice because keep inventory is really cool but then some people don't like like want more of a challenge th of getting their stuff so the grave mod allows you to at least go retrieve it which is really cool how long have you been playing minecraft you've been playing for four years wow that's a long time um i've been playing i would say i played it when it first came out very casually throughout the years where I would like go through Minecraft phases and then I would say I've been like playing it pretty much like every day since like 2021 which is crazy 2020 2021 ish don't have to make the game deliberately hard for yourself to enjoy it people enjoy the game in their own way it's the nature of a sandbox game exactly exactly i find it so funny that this is like literally a sandbox game and there's so much like arguing on like twitter and stuff about whether or not like one play style is valid and i'm like it's a sandbox game though of course it is you can do whatever you want huh
Like the beauty of it is that people can also try like people can make it as easy as they want or they can also make it even harder. Like look at all the people who add like what is it like one heart hardcore? Technically that's not playing the game, right? Like if you really want to be technical about it and like talk about like whether or not it's like pure vanilla, like that's modding in a sense. You know, but like people enjoy it, so why not? I need to figure out a roof style for this. I'm trying to think. Maybe like this. I would like some more sandstone, actually. Love the stream. Keep it up. Aw, thanks, Scoops. I'm glad you're enjoying it. You've been around uh playing for you've been playing for around four years as well. Let's go. I feel like once I kind of like got the hang of the game and something just kind of like clicked. I haven't been able to put it down. Like, I've not gotten sick of this game, which is wild. Sending go cold greetings from a winter apocalypse in Texas. Oh my gosh, Reese, you too? You're experiencing it as well? Somebody in chat was talking about it earlier. What the heck? I hope, uh, I hope you're all safe and you're keeping warm, especially because I know things... The cold is a little bit different for you all in Texas, so I hope you're doing well. That's too blocky. You know what I mean? Let me try upside down stairs here. And then... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That'll work. Ah! People need to stop gate gatekeeping the game for other people. They especially need to stop gatekeeping it for themselves. So many people quit because, well, I beat the dragon, so there's nothing more to do. Not for real. That's how I feel about it, too. I'm just like, honestly, if you just, like, kind of let go of all of those things, you'll just have such a good time. Like, I've played this game in many different ways. I've tried hardcore, fun in its own right, survival, classic, fun in its own right. I've done peaceful, amazing, great, really enjoyed it. It's just, like, there's so many different ways you can, like, try a game, try this game, and, it, like, that's kind of the beauty of it, you know? It really is. Okay, I think this needs... I see the problem. This needs like a trim instead of me just building there. I know what to do. Man, mansard roof. Let me look this up. Let me look this up. You've been playing um, Minecraft for eight to 10 years. Isn't it wild to think about like yourself playing a game that long? It's crazy. Like I, I forget that Minecraft that, is that old now. This is the roof that I want, Lisa. This is it. Thank you for uh, linking this, by the way. I just need to figure out how to build something like this because I've never uh, never build, built a roof like this. This is exactly what I want to a T. I think I just need to go up with like stairs and then just slowly um push it in but make it more square i okay i think i get how to do this thank you for linking that lisa i appreciate it okay i'm gonna give that a shot you put my thoughts into words yay i appreciate it we Watching the tools go back be back and forth between spork and potato peeler. <laughs> oh my gosh, my the names of these tools, I swear. <laughs> uh three. One, two. That's not right either. I think I'm gonna go every other. Okay. 
I'm gonna try this. I played with my kids in my world, but they kept killing each other and blowing up my horses and dogs. You're like, you know what? I just need, I just need a place where I can vibe. <laughs> I can vibe. You, you all can have your own world together where you, you just blow stuff up and whatever. You build a house made of diamonds, but give me my peaceful world. That is so funny. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. You've been playing Minecraft since 2011. Crazy how time flies, isn't it? And it's such a different game now. You've also given yourself a challenge of having seven different bases in your new world. It'll give me a project for probably years. No, literally, Azzy. Literally. You can make each of those bases like as intricate or as like simplistic as you want. Like, that's the crazy part about it. Love seeing kids in the first time uh, players interact with Minecraft. They have such unique ideas about what is possible in the world. That is actually so true. Like the way that I approached Minecraft when I first started playing is so different than how I play it now. And I wish I wish I had almost like recorded it or something. I mean, even some of my my really early YouTube videos <laughs> Like, still very, very new to the game in so many ways. And you can see it in the way that I play. It's very interesting. Okay, so if we're doing this roof, I feel like it's got to go, like... I need some smooth sandstone as well. Okay, so it will be on the beam. I have to make sure this is on the beam. It's gonna look a little bit weird because this one's like cut into it, but I think I can make it work. Yes, the Adams family family roof, exactly. Once, the best part is once I nail this, I'll be able to do this on other builds too. So this is great. It's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve, but that's, that's all right. Ooh, walls might help too. Yes. Have you played Minecraft with mods? Yes, I have. Mods, Um, I've done modded series, like Castaways was modded. Um. I've also done some streams in mo with mods. I would definitely do it again too. I really like modded Minecraft. It brings like um like a very different feel to Minecraft. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm like I think I need stairs along the the bottom like you like you said in chat. I think you need stairs along the bottom and then we go up even more if that makes sense. Reaper Kitty, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. We're working on the fish shop today. Or maybe stairs here. I think maybe stairs there. Because then if we do them here, then it's like a full block. Is that such a bad thing? I don't really know. I feel like that might work. Uh, this one's tricky. I feel like this is fine. I don't mind the blockiness of it, but then we have to go up one more block. Do you know what I mean? Be more acacia. Okay, I think we're getting there with the shape. I actually think this is right. 
I don't know what to do on this side, though. I'm a little bit lost because it doesn't have the corner. I think it will be fine once it's all filled in. I don't want it to look too goofy, though. I think we're getting there with this. I'm gonna have to get more, like, sandstone and stuff, though. Looks like there's a mix of full blocks and stairs. Yeah, I think you're right, where it's like you go up, like, pretty heavily with full blocks and then just keep, like, basically sloping it up with the stairs. I think I'm gonna need more materials, though. That's the problem I'm running with right now. Stairs on the top and then slabs on the upside one. Oh, do you mean like underneath here, like have a slab there instead for just for like a little bit more detail? Cause we could do that as well. I think we're getting there. Also, I even like this shape. It's kind of like, it's kind of giving Pizza Hut. You know what I mean? <laughs> like even if we don't go too high on it and have it like square off, I kind of like this design as it is. Okay, I'm gonna need a couple more materials though, chat. I want to make sure I have it all before I like fully commit. Otherwise we're gonna be like, no. So I am gonna run to our Mesa very, very quickly. Uh, so we can do that and make sure we get it all done properly. Let's just make sure we have our shulker and this. I did not anticipate building with lots and lots of uh, sandstone. That's okay though. I haven't used it in a hot minute. How have I only been playing Minecraft since uh, 2021? It seems way longer. That's it, Azzy? What the heck? The things I've built, servers I've been on, the worlds I've created. Honestly, I, feel, I would have assumed you've been playing it for like since at least 2011. You've been playing since 2009. Yeah, it was, wait, was it released in 2009? Huh? Struggling to build a roof? Do you even Minecraft? That is the essence of Minecraft. Struggling to build a, a roof, honestly. <laughs> Two layers of slabs, one layer of full block, one stair, full block. So confusing, but I get I get what you guys are saying with the slabs and the um and the full blocks. I think also with this rooftop, I think squaring it off at the top so it doesn't join up would be kind of cool too. I kind of like the idea that since it's like a city build, um, some of them like have like the flat rooftops where you would have like an AC unit and stuff on top. What's your favorite food? Oh my gosh, I love all foods, honestly. Like, I, a classic would always be like a burger, pizza, some ramen and sushi, but it's so hard to decide. I love whatever food I'm like craving in that moment, you know? I had some shawarma this weekend. It was amazing. We tried making our own pad siu last night. We kind of messed up on, like the noodles didn't have as much um, sauce on them as it should have. They were a little bit dry, but it was still very good. The flavor was really nice. So yummy. Thank you for ma making such great content. Love watching your channel. Oh, Ariel, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you for uh, watching the stream. Nice having you here. Tripped enjoys the challenge of using stair blocks instead of roof blocks. Are you, will you, any of you ever let that go? <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, like one of the classic stories of when I first started playing Minecraft was like, I actually couldn't really get behind the game in some ways because like, I wanted to build cool stuff, but I was like, why would you use a stair block to make a roof? That makes no sense. So like, it really frustrated me. I was like, 
There are stairs! Why would I use stairs to make a roof? And I was just like so... Like not into that until finally I was like, you know what? No, this game rocks. I can't be mad at it. Cannot be mad at this game. I still remember having to punch a sheep to get wool. Did we have to do that back then? Really? I don't even remember that. That's wild. I remember when, um, I think I remember when it was one of the stints I had where I was like, I want to play Minecraft again. And the nether had just updated. And I was like, what is this? I think I remember that update coming out and I was like, oh. You've been playing Minecraft for almost 10 years. Wild, isn't it? Even if it's just like on and off, like that's a significant chunk of your life, you know? It's wild. I started playing when they added the Mesa biome and I remember the aquatic update shortly after. It's been a while. When did they add the Mesa biome? Which update was that under? I don't remember. Now you're just like, sure, hope Mojang adds roof blocks. <laughs> Honestly, though, listen, give me, give me a proper roof block. No, it's fine. It's safe to say I've finally gotten over that. I can, I finally learned to cope with it. <laughs> oh, geez. Now I'm out here using stairs to make chairs, clocks, anything. I see the potential now. Bubble, welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see ya. All right, let's turn some of these into sandstone as well. Boom. I can probably just do that a little bit easier. Yeah, this way. Boom. Shroud, I just, I just don't understand your obsession with the nether. It's stressful <laughs> don't you just want to chill it's like the the antithesis of chill first three years of playing minecraft were in the 2014 version i don't even remember what was in the 2014 version i wish i could find my old worlds if i ever can i need to go through them with you all because there's just like i mean they're pretty boring it's it's literally like a hidey hole at spawn because I was too afraid to like run around at night and then I would build a house a small little house and then I'd get bored because I didn't know what else to do and then I'd I just wouldn't build anything else and it was just like rinse and repeat for years <laughs> basically the premise of all of my old minecraft worlds You have to punch trees and a dude with llamas follows you around trying to sell you random st <laughs> random stolen junk. No, literally, what a strange game. Chair blocks by 2030. Honestly, if they ever like added decorative items like that, I would be so happy. Having like real chairs, so fun. Or even like like things you could sit on like the sit mod is so fun being able to just like sit on a stair or a slab it adds so much especially in multiplayer when you're like chatting with people love that mod you're a friendly car enthusiast welcome on in how you doing all right let's get a little bit more boom I would like a little bit more than this, but I'd also enjoy a little bit more of a flat area so it's easier to gather. Minecraft stressy stream, <laughs> literally. Stressy stream world. <laughs> I 
Apparently, they added the Mesa biome in 2013, then they changed the name to the Badlands in the Aquatic Update. I didn't know uh, I've been playing it for so long. Yeah, I remember... Um, I remember it was originally Mesa. It's so weird. And now, now it's Badlands. I don't know which name I prefer. Badlands sounds like cool, obviously. But I feel like everyone tends to say Mesa instead. Like, it, the Badlands never really, like, stuck with people, you know? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There's, like, a whole thing over here that I could just go to. Ball. My bad. The only unchilled thing about the nether is when you have to leave and the monsters I DM'd you, those are not true nether citizens. Yeah, but, like, there's, like, even the vanilla monsters are terrifying. You can't deny that. It's not a good time. Do you happen to like Animal Crossing New Horizons? I'm playing while watching. Honestly, I love watching people play Animal Crossing. Like I have a ton of friends who stream it and stuff and it's very enjoyable to watch. I haven't played in a long time. Not since like 2020. I feel like I'm just not, not good enough for it. If that makes sense. I, I don't know. There's something about the, like the planning in that game where I just can't wrap my head around it. I want to understand it, but I think that's why I like watching people play it because they're just so talented at making like themed worlds and stuff. That's it's really cool. Plus, it's another one of those like really relaxing games to watch, you know? I started uh, on an RP server with amazing builders was so intimidated. Isn't that, that is always the scariest thing. Play, like your first time playing on like a server, especially with people who like know the ins and outs of the game. I remember being very, very uh, intimidated when I first started. Even on like Imperial, I was very nervous about that. But you learn like, as long as the people are like friendly, of course, like which everybody on Imperial was, like you learn so much. So, so much through experiences like that. Just gonna gather up a little bit more and then we're good. Just want some of the regular sand too. Sit mod is brilliant. It's such a simple mod. It does one thing and it does it so well. Exactly. It's one of those things where I'm like, I genuinely do wish it was vanilla. It's so good. Oop. Okay, let's go home. Just gonna take a sip of water. Yo, Cole! Nice to see ya, nice to see ya. Um, the nethers where fun and happy dreams go to die in a hail of gas noises and explosions. Jody, you get it. You get it. I understand, because I agree. <laughs> it's called Mesa IRL, so I just call it that. No, totally fair. Enzo, welcome on in. How you doing? Nice to see ya. I also call Deep Slate Grimstone. Okay, that was the OG name that they were gonna name it before the update happened, right? I wish it was called Grimstone. Like, that's so metal. Also, it's not boat with chest, it's chest boat. Oh, it's absolutely chest boat. I don't think I've ever heard somebody call it a boat with a chest. Huh? It's chest boat. Floating toasted marshmallow wither skellies. Floating chandelier. Floating chandeliers. I actually love that. They really are floating chandeliers. You're so right. That's hilarious. Carlos, welcome on in. How you doing? Uh, we are building a fish market today uh, in our cat town. So we're working on that. We're just getting the roof done right now and just vibing. I think it's the fact that it literally demands your time in order to be played properly. Any game like that is kind of hard to get into. I totally agree with that, Jody. I find it's like, um, 
it's like overwhelming. And then also like, if you do want to get stuff done, we're talking about Animal Crossing, by the way, chat. I was circling back to that, sorry. But um, if you want to get stuff done at a reasonable time, you have to time hop and I hate doing that. The worst. All right, we're pretty close to home, I think. Oh yeah. My 35 day survival world, I got iron armor and went to the nether. Let's go. Heck yeah. That's pretty quick. I avoided it at all costs. So it takes me a while. Bram, welcome on in. How you doing? The broth in my ramen just went out my nose and I was trying to swallow it. That has happened to me before and I hate it. It's very uncomfortable when that happens. Every once in a while, soup does that, you know? Oh my gosh, look at all the skeletons there. They're just like on the border. It was on that first server that I helped uh, to build those amazing builds uh, that you showed in the showcase, like the Coliseum. Made me a neat freak when it comes to organized storages. Honestly, that's not a bad thing. I mean, look at look at my struggles that I've had. I've gotten a lot better, though. I was organizing some storage this morning, like some of these chests, because uh, I had a little bit of time. It was very nice. Oh my gosh, I need to, like, light up the place around here, so... Things don't spawn. Like, there's a creeper in the distance. I don't think he'll come near me because of the cats, but I just don't like that he's hanging around, you know? Stop loitering! Swag. I hate to say it, chat. Fortnite made me better at combat in Minecraft. <laughs> Would you look at that? Can't concentrate, uh, have a great stream. No worries, Cass. I hope uh, all of the work goes well. No worries and uh, good luck with all of it. Sev, homie, it's so nice to see you. How you doing? How's it going? Okay, I need some more furnaces to burn down some of this sandstone and then we're good. You're obsessed with Animal Crossing. All my villagers are insane and adorable. Honestly, the villagers can be so funny. Especially when you get one that like you just do not like and it will not leave. Like honestly, me vibes. I relate. Watched some of your long plays a couple years ago and recently discovered your let's plays and streams. I want to get back into Minecraft again this year and your builds are so inspiring. Oh, Stephanie, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for popping into the stream too. Let's go. I'm so glad my uh, my stuff is inspiring you. It's always just like the nicest compliment to hear. I really appreciate it. We are in our long-term survival world today uh, that we started on YouTube. Uh, it's stream only. We started this a couple years ago now, and we are just vibing today, building up uh, some stuff in our little cat city. Just hanging out. How are your builds so good? Aw, thank you, I appreciate it. Honestly, so, so much practice. And lots of failure. I mean, today I've even been kind of failing with this roof. I think we're kind of getting there though, but it has been a bit of a struggle. Actually, Sev, you're good at these ones. What are these rooftop called again? The um, Mansard House rooftops. The ones that uh, look like the Adams Family roof. You build these all the time, Sev. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to hop into creative with you later. I need help. Actually, I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it, but it's kind of tricky. How's Ruth holding up in the cold? Give her some hugs and pets from chat. Oh my gosh, absolutely. When I take my break, I will go over and pet her. She's actually doing quite well. I think she likes the cold a little bit more than like hot summers. Uh, surprisingly, she's like kind of miserable when it's super hot. Even though we have AC, it's like, I just don't think she likes humidity. She's doing okay though. She's like uh, on the bed, she's sleeping. She uh, is just, Absolutely vibing. You can't put ladders on trapdoors on bedrock. 
What? You can't? How are you to make like a really cool like cave entrance thingy though? That's so sad. Oh my gosh, Mitchell. How you doing, homie? How are you doing? It's nice to see my homie. I used to be really big into having Sherb as a villager, but I kicked that nerd to the curb when I saw Bo, and I always give D.Va some love just for Gleambee. <laughs> Why does Gleambee hate D.Va so much? D.Va was the best. D.Va was the coolest. I built Mansard roofs on accident. Okay, come over and just build this for me so you accidentally build this. You know what would happen? You would literally just like, you would build the opposite of this. <laughs> Cause that's always how it happens. All right, I am determined to get this looking right. We have to do slabs too, I think. Was it, it's slabs? What is it after? Where did the slabs go again? I don't remember. Huh? Actually, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. Fret not. Fret not, chat. I will figure it out. Drift's mind is working today. Kind of. Like a little bit. This is one of those things where I'm like, I should have honestly, I honestly should have learned how to make this in creative like a long time ago, but never have. So now I'm just like kind of struggling, but I think here what I want to do is I want to try, okay. I would like to try some like slabs here and then maybe like a row of stairs here, if that makes sense. I just want to see what it actually no that wouldn't look right would it huh okay no 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 ah! oh my gosh i thought i was gonna fall let's go stairs here again let's just let's see what happens i know we do have to incorporate slabs at some point but i just don't know when you know On the upside down. Oh, the upside down stair part. Okay, so like right along here. I see. So where there is upside down stair, we put slabs. I see, I see. Okay. So upside down stairs belong here. And then we have slabs in between instead. I see. Okay. Easy enough. We got this. I'm just doing that as a reminder. And I think we're good with that. You can do it, Drifty. Thank you, Seb. Thank you. I believe. I believe. Honestly, it's just it's just practice and learning how to how to do it right. Once I learn this roof style, I'll have it in my in my pocket. In my toolkit, if you will. How do you usually plan your builds? It's so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, usually I plan my stuff in creative for like all of my videos. So I'll kind of just like come up with general shapes using like wool. And then from there, I usually uh, try to pick out a palette that would look nice with the particular build and like slowly fill it out um, while kind of considering all those things. So I always consider palette, um, palette, shape all of that stuff i actually really like this there's a couple of details that need to be like um kind of like fleshed out here but i think this looks good i might cut it off here though if that makes sense so i can kind of have like um something on top of the roof similar to that i'd like to have like an ac unit or something i think we're getting there though if we add in some walls and stuff too it'll look even better So 
So let's get some... Whoops. Slabs. I think I'm starting to get it, though. I need to do something crazy for you to like the stream. Okay, watch this. I'm going to put one slab in my junk bin. This isn't junk. This is actually useful material, which be belongs in the useful material bin, but I actually put it in my junk bin. Maybe some tiny windows on the roof. Oh, that's a good idea, too. I like that. I like that. Okay, okay. Heck yeah, okay. I see the vision. I see it. I don't know what to do here. Because I need like a stair. But I don't know which way it should face. You know what I mean? That is a problem. Also, I hate how it cuts off here. I mean, it really doesn't have to cut off, I guess. I could probably build it into this because it's technically higher. <gasps> I can. Okay. Hold on a second. Boom. And then... Oh, no. We got some rain. Oops. We'll do this. I guess I can compromise with that. I like that. Oh, this is looking cute, chat. Yeah, the tiny windows is a great idea. Gonna go play some Minecraft and watch stream? No worries, uh, Bones. I hope you enjoy. Have fun. Catching a stream. I've been uh, vibing with your recorded stuff while starting a new world for the past couple weeks. Ryder, thank you so much for popping in, by the way. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, and thank you so much for uh, watching all my content. I really appreciate it. Hope uh, I hope your, um, your Minecraft world is going well for you. Creating chess monsters. I know. What is going on here, Shroud? What is going on? Yeah, the one thing I don't like is that, like, this one faces this way. And then the rest are going to face this way. But I just want to see what it looks like. Hold on. <laughs> Next, you'll be throwing diamonds into lava or something. I've never done that. Huh? What are you talking about? I've never done that in my life. Okay, I kind of have. Actually, I don't mind that. That looks kind of cute. Slab police will arrest you. Oh, no. Please. No. I have done nothing. I am innocent. It's slabs in between that we did, right? Yeah, it is. Just making sure. The rain is a, is a vibe. I know. Honestly. Rain in Minecraft, nothing beats it. Nothing beats it. Okay, let's make a couple more stairs. I just have to watch out for a message from Big Tiny Duck because she has something arriving today. So I have to make sure I am ready to go. So I gotta check my phone. Very first drift stream I watch has rain in it. Wait, what? The stream, Azzy? Like the the OG uh, survival world stream? Huh? Or are you talking the very first uh, video you watched? Is this right? No, that's not right. There's a double right there. What am I doing? <gasps> Got a little distracted, my bad. I will fix this up though. Okay, so. On the edge, it's not upside down stair. I think that's where I messed up. Oh wait, no, I literally just like, I did a double when I shouldn't have. 
So let's fix that. There we go. Okay, looking good. Make the tiny windows as part of the, of the cat tree tunnel. Ooh, we could, we could do like, basically the, the cat trees, they're really like easy to make because you can use a lot of these uh, for like the, like the climbing portion of a cat tree. Heck yeah, I like that. All right, there we go. Fill all of this out. We are good to go. I'm really happy with how this is uh, looking. I think it's all coming together. stream a chill long play uh no commentary very first video oh my gosh that's what it was i love that there's something there's something about the rain ones i'm telling you they hit different they're so relaxing even making them it's just like chill vibes all around ian toots what's going on so nice to see you homie how you doing hope you had a good weekend My very first video I watched from Drift was from Medicaid's uh, POV pulling pranks on Blockdown on Imperial. Oh my gosh, that is such a throwback. I'm obsessed. I love that. Amazing. Okay, this is coming together. We got a little bit of like a Pizza Hut roof, I would say. I feel like it needs like maybe just like a little bit of um shape right here. Or maybe not. I was thinking about maybe trying to do like walls, but it doesn't, it really doesn't look that bad from, from down here. I kind of like that. I'm gonna try walls. We were just talking about the Imperial days though. It's so wild how it's like so long ago now. That was my very first ever SMP I was on. Very nostalgic. Wish there were more iron fence uh, bar blocks to make a fire escape with. Me too. I love like the iron bars and all of that stuff, but I just wish there was like different variants. There's some mods that provide variants um, for those types of blocks and they look so good. They're super cool, but I wonder what it would look like if I just completely got rid of this and put wall there. What do you think, chat? Is that like too much? Versus the other side. I think like this side is a little bit too square in a way. So I kind of do like it. Toots is here, but we're on YouTube, not Twitch. So there's no toot redeem. So you have to let one rip IRL. Sorry, I don't make the rules just to enforce them. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> that broke me. <laughs> sorry, don't don't make the rules. I just enforce them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even as he, since you're a mod, does that mean you you moderate me as well? <laughs> sorry, I don't make the rules. <laughs> Came into the stream. What kind of building are you currently making? Also, welcome to the stream. Um, we are making a basically like a little shop to sell fish because we're working on our cat town. We have a cat cafe, a plant shop, which is gonna have catnip. And uh, today we are building up a little fish shop uh, for like a little market on the bottom floor. The top floors can be like, honestly, they'll probably be like cat lofts. We can move some of these cats into there. <gasps> Stream elements, you're on time today. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. I would do a round of upside down stairs all around and then slabs to fill in the roof. Ooh. Like, 
instead of um like instead of these guys being right side up you would do them upside down you mean or like on the bottom one because i definitely want to fill in the roof after this because i don't want it to go too much higher i think that's the perfect height against this city I wonder if it would look good if we did like, let's say, right side upstairs here and then upside down stairs there. You know what I mean? I have an appointment tomorrow to do a train uh, drive through the Rockies east to west in 2025, which I'm absolutely stoked about. Wait, what? Really? Oh my gosh. Okay, I've heard of people doing that and I heard it's like an incredible experience you got to let me know how the appointment goes if you do it you have to let me know because like i one day i would love to do that but i've heard it's like actually super fun and also like stunning of course because the rockies i mean come on so wild Yeah, I think I'm getting there with this roof. Like, it's not perfect, but I think I'm getting there. I want to try the stairs, though. Also, chat, in a second, we should probably just take a quick little break. I need to refill my water and stuff. Um, But we'll do that once I'm finished up with this. The upside down would help create the curve in the top uh, before it goes flat. Yes, exactly. Okay, cool. So let's try that. Um, I think that's what it's missing. Got a physiotherapist appointment tomorrow for my knee. Been waiting since COVID. Oh my gosh, I'm glad you finally got that appointment. Good luck. I hope it goes well. And most importantly, I hope uh, it's the beginning to helping you out with that issue too. Oh wait, I need to go to bed. We'll go to bed, I will take a quick little break and then we'll be back. All right, chat. Let's uh, quickly stretch our legs and stuff and I will be back in about a minute or so. BRBs.
Hello. I am here. Just taking a sip of water. Okay. I'm like, should I take a take away those uh walls that I put up? Or do you think they're fine? We'll see how it looks if we just flip these upside down. And then uh we'll decide. Thank you, thank you. Hope you all had a nice break as well. I'll leave those for now too. Oops. I feel like this will kind of help fix it up. That looks more clean. But I think now What's gonna have to happen is we need to get rid of these to round it off again. Cause it looks less round somehow, you know? So if we do this, something to consider. Lorado, welcome on back. Okay, let's pop these guys out. I think I like that better. I don't even think these need to turn to um, stairs. It'll just be too big of a gap. Then we can just fill in the roof after. I think that looks nice. So now that I've kind of learned um, this roof shape, you betcha I am gonna go into creative and really mess around like kind of learning it a little bit better. For our first attempt, I think this is actually pretty okay, but I, I can't wait to like actually give it a proper shot in creative and really figure out the style a bit more. But I, I really do like this. I'm glad I tried it today. I was thinking I have a knee appointment. <laughs> no, I swear that's someone else who said that, but whoever who has the appointment for the knee, wishing you all the best. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> You're like, huh, me? How? Also, oh my gosh, Artie, thank you so much for becom becoming a channel member. I really appreciate that. Big, big, big swags. Thank you so, so much. I uh, hope you enjoy the emotes that come along with the Drift channel membership, and I, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, just filling this in. I think if anything, we could probably put like a couple stairs um, on top in the corners and stuff, but I won't worry too much about that. Also chat, if you're enjoying the stream and wanna hit that like button, would really, really appreciate it. Really helps out the streams on YouTube. So if you're uh, join it, smash that like button. Honestly, I don't even think those are necessary now. I don't think they are. We can just fill these, uh, fill in the top. I think if anything, I would probably fill in the top to about... Hmm, let's just do this. Or actually, if I do one more block high, then we could like kind of walk on this, get like the AC unit up or whatever, and then have this as like spruce ceiling if we want, which would be really nice. I do need some more acacia. Let's get that. My toes are freezing right now. 
What socks am I wearing? I'm looking down. Oh, I'm not wearing like my super fluffy socks. I might need, <laughs> I literally might have to go change my socks in a second. That's how cold it is today. It's brutal. You're exploring and found the coolest cherry grove valley to build in. Yo, nice. Those cherry groves are actually so, so beautiful. I love the color of the water um, in the groves. I really like that they kind of like switched it up for, their, for the update. There we go. Almost done. Perfect. But I found a problem with watching you on YouTube and Twitch. If we take out the amazing community you have built, which isn't a problem, you inspire me to play, but you don't have Minecraft anymore? Oh no. Is there any way you could get it on like a console or anything? Oh, toots. I hope you can grab a, grab a copy of it sooner or find like a, something to play on. That's such a bummer. How do you get the elytra in survival mode? So what you have to do is you have to defeat the dragon. And once you do that, it opens up the portal into the like the end realm and you're able to explore it. And you'll find basically ships within that realm that will have the elytra. It sounds very complicated, but honestly, like as long as you're well equipped, it's it's a lot easier than um than one thinks. I'm vibing with this build chat. I am vibing with this build. I think it's super cute. Okay, so we got the roof done, which I think looks really cool. I actually really enjoy how it turned out. And now it's kind of giving me the confidence to actually try that roof style a little bit more properly in the future too. I think that I did a good job with it, but I'm excited to try it again. This is, this is probably literally one of the first times I've ever tried it. Kimberly, welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day as well. Thank you so much uh, for hanging out today. <clears throat> King of Demons, welcome on in too. I hope you're having a great day as well. Your hamster's okay though. Oh my gosh, good. <laughs> Thank you so much again for uh, for the channel membership. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's pop out some windows. I'm thinking, okay, let's look at the inside quickly. Oh, that's so much space. These cats are gonna have like really nice lofts. Come on, this is cool now. That's great on your first try. Oh, thank you. And thank you so much for like all the, the advice and stuff on it and the help. <clears throat> it was a challenge. Definitely have never tried this style before, so. I think it's looking pretty fresh though. Oh, cute. Very, very cute. Also with this, um, what are you all feeling? I, f I personally feel like this mud and mud brick is a little bit too dark. I think it's gonna like, it's just gonna contrast a little bit too much. I feel like the, uh, the ground needs to be a bit lighter. I'm leaning more towards just brick. I know we have brick over here, but I mean, there's a reason why it's like such a classic and it works so well. You know what I mean? I was affected by the winter storm today. Four inches of snow at my house. Oh my gosh, you got hit really bad. We had some snow on the weekend. It's pretty much gone now. However, it is so cold now. It's brutal. I can feel it indoors. It's also, we just have really bad, like, um, what's it called? The stuff, insulation, insulation. We have really bad insulation around our windows and my computer's kind of close to it and I'm freezing my buns off. Absolutely freezing my buns off right now. I hope you're uh, safe uh, from the snow though. It can be pretty tricky getting around. Let's get a bit more. 
you uh you had to build your pc then never re-download it uh you'll buy it again oh did you lose like the um your sign in for it and stuff because i've done that before i think i do have like i don't know if i have two copies of minecraft or like something not on the same account i don't remember but that's definitely happened to me before used to keep hamsters or like tiny little bears oh my gosh big tiny duck i think it was hamsters or gerbils oops that she had when she was younger and she said that they were just so cute super cute little guys you like the mud okay maybe we'll keep the mud i was i'm just i i'm second guessing it now like i do everything I love the style of everything you're doing now with the mud and mud brick for the ground. Okay, maybe we'll leave it then. Maybe once I start building like other stuff around here, it'll blend in a bit more. You know what I mean? I really like the use of endstone tiled uh, with the mud brick. Oh, that's nice. Like kind of like a trim with the endstone. You need a few stops, of course, uh, for dirt gravel etc for the kitty pan spots if you get my meaning oh i i got you loud and clear and absolutely we only have one at the boat at the moment and um the cat cafe they're now requiring a key to the bathroom which i think in my opinion is a little bit rude so crazy how all of a sudden the snow is really kicking into high gear now in most places. Snowed this week and now it's just cold about negative 20. Ugh, the worst. You have two hamsters, uh, Bo- Bo- Boj and Chloe. Oh my gosh, adorable. Little sweeties. Little sweeties. I never had a hamster growing up. My mom, um, she's like really afraid of mice and rats and like they were just a little bit too close, even though they're not the same thing. They were a little bit too close for her. And so she was like, no, no way. And I get that. OK, I got to I got to go into the nether quickly. I actually need more warped wood, I think. Unless I have some in my at my base. We're in greater Ontario, greater Sudbury area. We've gotten roughly two to three feet of snow over the weekend. I swear we had grass last week and now it's uh, snow all snow and so cold unbelievable yeah that's wild okay so like i'm in toronto and the snow is completely gone because it melted really quickly but then we were driving north like up to north york yes yesterday which is like maybe 15 to 20 minutes uh on the highway and literally they have snow so much it's crazy like north york is pretty much within toronto and they had snow but like in like the actual Toronto area, it's all gone. It's wild. I've heard um, other family members talking about that though. They're like, literally they're closer than, um, oh, we have tons here, but they're all like um, outside the city and they were just saying they have so much snow. It's the cold that's really doing it for me though. It's so cold now. You used to have hamsters and rats. I heard they just make like really great pets though honestly rats are very smart too i've heard okay the mud brick matches the buildings nicely all right all right i'm definitely gonna keep it then if you all say so i was i was just second guessing you know every once in a while whoops i keep thinking that's wool <laughs> it's definitely not wool there we go oops I think I'm going to make this primarily primarily wood with the other texture is like not the primary one, if that makes sense. I don't know. Oh, the joys of using sand in a build. Come on. <laughs> I know you haven't been into Pokemon in a while. What's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite is Cubone. Oh my gosh, Cubone is is a homie. Um, I don't know. I would say like my, it's always gonna be one of the OGs. I really liked, I always thought like the, um, what are the ghast ones called? Like Gas, Ghastly and Coffin were kind of cool. I loved Geodude when I was a kid too. 
And what's what's the Pikachu that's like more electricity than it is Pikachu? If that makes sense. The evolution, the second evolution Pikachu. I forget his name. Is it like Rai, Raichu or something? That dude's kind of cool. A small park with a sandbox instead of grass. Exactly. So good. So good. I love that. <laughs> wow, what a build idea. What a build idea. <laughs> what a lovely park. I mean, perfect for cats, I guess. Been awake for 20, uh, 29 hours, so fall, going to fall asleep while watching. Thanks for letting me help. Have a great week. Oh, Lisa, thank you so much for all the suggestions. I appreciate it. I hope you have a great, um, great rest and a great rest of your week. We'll catch you later. Oops. There we go. We were near Waterloo for work last week and it was raining. Can't believe uh, how bipolar the Ontario weather is. Honestly, it's just like, it's such a mishmash. I guess also because Ontario is so, like literally physically, like such a large landscape that it's just so wild how different it is. But I thought the most shocking thing was like driving around from like one area to the next it really like it wasn't that far and there was still so much more snow than in the city even like 20 minutes outside it's wild unpredictable i would say my rats were the sweetest things i adored them so much and would love to have rats again yeah i've heard such like they're just like really nice companions hello all right this is starting to come together this is looking real good I just need to figure out how I'm going to detail this. So the plant shop has, of course, a ton of plants. I feel like this does need greenery, but maybe like only on certain windows. Yeah. I would also like acacia because I used az azalea on this. So having little minor differences um, kind of breaks it up a bit. You had to travel over 2,000 blocks just to get some sand. Isn't that the worst? When you see little pits like sand pits like this and you're like, that's not going to work. Got to go all the way just to get it. I feel that though. I had to um, go to the Mesa earlier to get a big haul of sand. Lunch today for the hospital is white rice, beef, a chili uh, verde, a light che uh, cheese sauce, black beans, flour tortillas, chips, a whipped cream fruit dessert, guacamole, and a drink. All for four fifty, huh? Oh my gosh! Here, that would be like twenty seven fifty. What the heck? What? I'm shocked. That's incredible. I'm sad. <laughs> Happy for you though. Sad for me. Okay, I need to go to the savannah quickly. Ow! Oh my gosh! I ran right into that. My face. My Minecraft face, it hurts. Getting cozy under the electric blanket, falling asleep, listening to your voice. Hope BTD doesn't get upset. Oh my gosh, no, that. Listen, I this is what my streams are for. For everybody just to like relax, unwind. Listen to me while you're fall falling asleep, playing Minecraft, whatever, doing chores. It is like the greatest compliment, honestly. I appreciate it. Oh, you're in a larger biomes world too. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. All right, acacia leaves. Let's grab some of these dudes. Some of them are still despawning here. Come on. There we go. Wow, I got three. Amazing. Should probably just there we go. Tear this guy down. Brother, uh, growing up had rats, mice, birds, cats, dogs, and rabbits. We had a lot of animals. The only thing my mom surprisingly let us have, which is like so weird to me, was birds. For some reason, she was like, Yeah, you can have those. That was such like a 90s staple though, having budgies. Does anybody remember that? I don't know if you, if any of you grew up having uh budgies in the house. They were very sweet though. They were like, um, 
they would like of course like yap and stuff but it was just bird chirps and like they were just like very sweet uh and cute i i loved them uh oh are you planning on doing a face reveal so if you search face reveal um on my channel i already have one and i also on twitch i stream with a face cam <laughs> listening while avoiding assignments oh do your assignments do your assignments i feel that though oh yeah sorry i'm a convolutional neural network We've all been teaching how to play Minecraft. Beep bop. <laughs> no, I'm a person, I swear. I swear. If I didn't look so uh so haggard today, I would I would literally turn my face cam on, but <laughs> uh, Drift has a face? Come on, you've all seen my face before. I remember hiding upstairs because I didn't like the frantic flapping of the wings when we let them out. Okay, honestly, yeah, that it was kind of scary. It is a little scary at times. <laughs> My sister dealt uh, with the birds a little bit better than I did. I liked watching them, but I didn't want one to run into me. I would have freaked out. Svi, so, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. Chill day and drifting away. Hope you're having a great start to the week. Oh, I hope you're having a great start to the week as well. Thank you so much for popping in. My four-year-old loves watching you. She says you're relaxing. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I hope you both are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for popping into the stream, by the way. Glad. Honestly, it's always like the biggest compliment hearing that my, um, my content is relaxing for you all. I love it. Love to hear it. These cats are killing me. They were like all demanding my attention at once. Yeah, I'm I'm a human, okay? I am a human. For real though, if anybody is ever interested, I do have I do have my face reveal um video up, but I also do stream any any day I'm streaming on Twitch, I have my face cam. We got the face cam times up on Twitch. Maybe I'll go jungle there. Ow. Should tell the Minecraft create mod if you have the Minecraft create mod, you can turn stone into sand. Okay, Minecraft create. I've been thinking about that mod a lot and I don't know if I'm cut out for that mod. <laughs> I struggle enough as it is with like redstone and stuff. I thoroughly enjoy watching Mr. B's series. Don't get me wrong, that stuff is super cool. But for me, I think I would struggle really hard with it. Maybe one day though, might give it a shot. Started watching your uh, without commentary videos for a long while. Uh, I thought you didn't have a voice uh, either. Heck yeah, I, I kind of love that. Um, and then one day you just stumble upon one of my Let's Plays and it kind of like that's kind of like the beauty of it is like a lot of people do watch my no commentary stuff so they don't really know anything about me but then all of my other stuff is there eventually if people like stumble upon it and you all kind of like learn a little bit more about me i find it kind of cool Do you have um do you have an iron farm on here? Yes, I do. I do indeed have an iron farm. It is very useful actually. Almost too useful. I'm constantly having to like move iron out of it. It's wild. All right, this is looking pretty good. I'm almost wondering if I should do like I want some like blue terracotta, I think. Can you do that? You can make blue terracotta, right? Pretty sure. <clears throat> we got orange. I need to go find some. So 
started putting resource packs on Minecraft, like better leaves. Uh, adding mods is like too much work. Adding mods can be a lot of work, especially if you start like really doing a bunch and they all have like different dependencies. It can be a task to get all that stuff to work correctly. I would like, honestly, I'm happy with even just a few basic mods. Like texture packs are easy, so you can have better leaves and stuff. Um, I also really like the sit mod, just quality of life improvements. Just quality of life improvements. Okay. Um, what was I going to do? I needed, oh yeah, I needed terracotta, but regular. Don't tell me I have to go to the Mesa again. I don't want to. Will you describe your face to me? I've never seen your face. Okay, so I have eyeballs and a chin. And my eyeballs, I have brown eyeballs. And then I have a mouth and I just constantly never stop talking because I don't know how to stop talking. And that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. All right, I need to go get some terracotta. Boo! Even the cats are complaining about it. They're like, no, no. I need more rockets first though, chat. Hi parakeets, uh, not sure what they're called. Budgies too or vice versa. I always thought they'd make pretty sounds, but it's more of a squawk. Yeah, they're totally squawky. I remember they were basically like our wake up call growing up, which honestly in retrospect was very helpful. Like, cause I would notoriously be late for school if it wasn't for them. It was, it was kind of nice having them though. It helped. Okay, I need to go get some more rockets and then we're good. Iron Farm was the first thing you built by the Skelly Spawner. Uh, you found, I was like, if I'm gonna work on the spawner, I better get generating some iron. Honestly, I feel like I've said this before, my biggest regret was not getting an iron farm together um, right away. Oh wait, oh dang it, none really? But honestly, it just helps so much. I kind of regret not doing it sooner. That might be my next build after tomorrow's episode in my chill survival, to be honest. They're just like, oh no, my elytra's almost broken. Holy. Okay, we gotta go repair that quickly. I might just go to the, um, this little skelly? No, sorry. What's it called? Spider spawner. It's a quick fix. There we go. There's at least two shades of blue. Uh oh, is there like a navy blue and more of a, like a light blue as well? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have choices to make, aren't I? Optifine's a must-have. I would do Optifine, or I would also consider doing Sodium. I run with Sodium and Iris now, just because the performance is a little bit better. But Optifine is great if you want like an all-in-one, because with Sodium. Um, the benefits are better performance. And also I think it has, you can export like your shader settings and stuff. It's really cool. But with Optifine, you don't have to add in texture packs for connected grass or glass. It's already all built into it. I like watching Drift whenever I'm stressed about schoolwork so I can just relax and overall chill vibe and keep it up Drift. Oh, Carlos, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So happy uh, all of my all of my vids are there to keep you all just like chilling and vibing. Makes me so happy. Can't stop talking is a great feature for a streamer, honestly. <laughs> my hyperfantasia is running wild with that description. What is hyperfantasia? I don't know what that word is. It's too big for me. Too big of a word. Bailey, oh my gosh. Sorry, my throat is very dry because of the winter. Welcome on in though. 
Hope you're having a great day. My best friend has a little bird that he used to call Revelry because she would sing at sunrise. Oh, that is really cute. Yeah, birds are like, I don't know. I feel like it was a nice pet to have growing up. Oh, wait, yeah, that's chill survival. Wait, let's try seed two. I don't think that's a thing. Here, I'll, I'll just do slash seed. And I'll copy it into the chat. I forget what the command is for that, Azzy, but we have to, we gotta um, kind of fix up some of this stuff anyway. AKA maybe move to Nightbot. I'm not sure. Yeah, connected textures, I think I use vanilla tweaks for that. They have some really good, or no, connected textures, I use a mod for that. And I think I use um, the connected grass resource pack from Vanilla Tweaks. There's a lot of cool stuff on that site. Does this seed work for bedrock? I'm not sure. I think mostly now um, bedrock and Java are very like similar to one another for at least seeds. So it probably should be fine. Oh no, the spider sounds. I know, this is, that's the one thing about like playing Minecraft streams in the background. You're like, what's going on in my world? Hyperfantasia means I can imagine anything at any time in a perfect crisp clarity. Like right now I'm picturing you at the computer bashing keys while rocking your head back and forth. That, I, I wonder if I have that. I can, I have a pretty good imagination, I would say. Like, I can picture things pretty clearly. But I'm made of yarn. I'm made of yarn? Like Yoshi's Woolly World yarn type thing? Because that's kind of sweet. I'm in a crochet room. I wish I was IRL. That would be super cool. Why would that actually be awesome? All right, I'm just gonna sleep and let's head out over to, whoa, almost hit that tree. Let's head to the Mesa really quickly. I just wanna grab a ton of regular terracotta so we can kind of try to make like one of those um, canopies for the uh, front of the build. I was scared uh, many times when I hear creepers hiss in your stream. I apologize in advance for anybody who p plays these in the background and, and hears the mobs. It is so jarring. It really is. I can hardly picture anything in my head, which is a little funny since I'm an artist. Ooh, interesting. Do you, um, like when you draw then, does it just kind of like happen? Or is it like you kind of have to use like reference and stuff to help out a bit more? Just finished work. Let's go, Moon. Let's go. I hope work went well. Oh my gosh, it's already 2.43. Where's the day gone? Where has the day gone? I need to um check to make sure Big Tiny Duck hasn't messaged me. No, she hasn't. We're good. We're making chicken pasta tonight. I'm very excited. It's gonna be like a creamy chicken pasta though. I think with like some red peppers and stuff. It's gonna be very good. The create mod, you can pick up mob spawners. Honestly, bless. That makes life so much easier. It's kind of like that mod, as you've talked about it, where you can pick up villagers and put them in your pocket. Like that's brilliant. <laughs> Mossy, welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see ya. It went well, but you're running on like three hours of sleep, so I'm very tired. Oh my gosh. I hope you don't have anywhere to go after work. You can just vibe, take a nap if you need to. Those three hour days. Brutal. Bo 
Bones and Cass, welcome back. You're making chicken a chicken rice bowl. Oh, that sounds so good. I love chicken and rice. It's so good. It just it just does the job. All right, we're almost there. You have a lot of um, references uh, most of the time. Some things I've learned to draw without a reference though. Yeah, I guess if you, um, that makes sense where eventually it just becomes like a second nature as well. So you don't really have to worry so much about that. This is regular, right? Yeah. You have your own Minecraft server and you and your friends beat the Ender Dragon yesterday? Yo, GG's, that's awesome. Heck yeah, are you gonna get Elytras now? You're watching this while spoon feeding your dog. She's so spoiled. That is spoiled on another level. But honestly, if my cat Ruth ever demanded to be spoon fed, I'd probably do it. I'd probably do it. I mentioned this on Twitch um, on Friday, but I'm so happy Ruth, uh, Ruth went to the vet and she's all healthy. She had to get a, a booster, booster shot, but she was, uh, she recovered from her little, uh, she lost some weight. She lost some weight, which is so good. She, uh, we had to put her on a little bit of a diet because she gained a little bit too much weight and she did so good. I mean, I feed her, I control what she eats, but you know what? She handled it very well, though. Like, she didn't complain when we, like, gave her less food. And she's, like, very much used to it and stuff. She did so good. You want steak? I want steak. I love steak. Making me hungry. I have some uh, carne asada marinating that I plan to throw to the onto the smoker to cook. Oh, my God. That sounds so good. I'm going to cry. Only place I have to go to the psychiatrist's office to drop off a check, and then later today I go to a client's house uh, to watch their demon cat. Not the demon cat. Oh no. Does it does it just like literally just like cause chaos for the sake of it? Cause it knows. <clears throat> You've already eaten, but all the food talk is making you starving again. This is this is what happens every stream. We just talk so much food. <laughs> You finished some homemade chicken uh, fettuccine alfredo. It was very good. Oh, man, that sounds delicious. Okay, I'll tell you what. The only thing that I don't have a craving for right now is, I mean, it's winter. I do not have a craving for, like, sandwiches and stuff. Unless it's, like, a warm sandwich. But right now, it's just, like, I need food that literally just, like, is so warm and also, like, just, just soothes the soul. So I'm talking, like, any type of, like, just, like, warm rice dish like pastas i'm i'm honestly more so like in my noodle era right now because we do a lot of rice dishes but like recently i'm like no i need noodles now you would absolutely spoon feed your kitty oh yeah easily if i had to i i absolutely would super nice to uh, watch while doing some chores on my day off from work gotta go now but thanks for streaming hope i can tune in uh more on in the future oh thank you so much i really appreciate it uh steffi i hope you have a great rest of your day and thanks for hanging out anya welcome on in how you doing the demon cat is me as a cat same shroud same You're getting ready to marinate your steak for dinner tonight? Ooh, what, what'd you marinate it with? What's the vibe here? What's the vibe? Nothing, nothing like a pre-marinated steak or chicken. So good. Mama, welcome on in. How you doing? I've been lurking uh, while arranging a birthday party. Oh my gosh, exciting. I hope it's going well. You're obsessed with uh, Nika the demon cat. She hates me. I would 
die for her. No, literally. Isn't that how it always is? It's like, you just really want them to love you. How, how, like, have you won her over, though? Because eventually, like, if it hasn't happened yet, you'll win her over where, like, you're the only human that she'll, like, tolerate. That's always, like, the best feeling when, like, there's, like, a demon, like, animal. But for some reason, they just, they love you. And you're just like, well, let's go. I had a huge roast. I shouldn't be hungry. Sometimes just like just talking about food. It can just trigger that hunger again. It's wild. Something about warm food in the winter. No, literally during the cooler months. Yeah, if you like I just I think tonight if I had to like eat a sandwich, I'd just be sad. <laughs> I like, I just need warm food right now. It is so cold today. Warm food. Honestly, I might make like a hot chocolate later or something. In my Minecraft server, we have the better Minecraft mod, the create mod. About what? What are all these food mods and stuff? Better Minecraft's great though. I do love that mod. My dog is wrapped up in a blanket like a burrito and I'm giving him tummy rubs. Oh my gosh. Animals, aren't they the best? Literally the best. Listening to you makes me feel like I uh, can make a chill like channel. I'm an older player, so I'm a bit intimidated to do so, especially with all the new things uh, YouTube uh, is having content you users do. Yo, honestly, all you all you have to do. I mean, I know it's like a lot harder than like, oh, just uploading because a lot goes into it. Also mentally, too, like it takes it does take like courage to kind of like put yourself out there, but you can do it. You can absolutely do it. One day I decided to give it a shot just because it's something I always wanted to try. And I mean, now I'm here. I don't regret it in any way. I love it so, so much. You don't know where, where it'll take you. I, I say, if you're very interested in doing it, you, you can do it. You can do it. And somebody else mentioned that in chat earlier before. And I just kind of said also, like one thing you can do is if you're not 100% comfortable with things yet, you can always upload something. and just have it like unlisted or private for like your friends to watch at first too. And make it like public when you want. There's so many ways you can uh, go about it. All right, I'm gonna try to sleep and I think we can go. W. Yeah, and it's never too late. Exactly, Azzy, it's never too late. <clears throat> I'm very open openly very not about cats but my mom had a cat i wanted nothing to do with and the cat was obsessed with me literally shroud that happens so often you like cats can sense it my mom doesn't like animals like she there she's very skittish around them just because i she never grew up with them really so she, they've always freaked her out and ruth just wants her attention so bad it's so sad my dad will literally like he will go to the ends of the earth to get Ruth's attention and she wants nothing to do with him. She like she can smell the desperation on that man and she's like, you know what? Get away from me. But my mother, she follows her around like everything. She always just wants my mom's attention and my mom's like kind of afraid of her. We made progress though. The last time we had to go to my parents and Ruth was there, um, my mom pet Ruth, which was like groundbreaking because my mom will like, at first, like, she would look at Ruth and be like, you yeah, like, that, that's, that's a cat. But now my mom talks to Ruth like she is her second niece. She's like, hi, sweetie. You're so cute. Look at you. You're so sweet. We made so much progress, chat. So much progress. It's so sweet. Took a while, though. Moon, you were saying you, uh, you won the cat over? Let's go. She was so mean and hated everyone when they first got her. Now she's actually nice about 75% of the time. But I have some nasty scars from her. Oh yeah, the some of the scratches will really get you. 
I have some scars from when Ruth was a kitten because kitty claws, very sharp. My friend went and got ice cream. Mm, haven't had ice cream in a hot minute. It's been too cold here for that. Do love me some ice cream though. Your marinade was lime juice, minced garlic, onion, chili powder, pap paprika, cumin, and a few dashes of Wor Worcestershire. I can never say it, but that sauce. Oh, so good. That sounds delicious. Honestly, the Worcestershire sauce, that stuff slaps. We use it a lot too. There's something in the UK called uh, Vinto. I don't think I've ever had that. What is it kind of like a hot chocolate or? What is, exactly is it? You've been craving good dumplings? Yo, same. We actually got, um, we got some at the grocery store. They're frozen, but the brand that, uh, the brand that makes them are, is like really good. So I think we're going to have some of those this week too. Tariq, welcome on in. How you doing? Um, today we are working on our cat village. So we've got a little city over here that we've been working on. This build right here is going to be a shop where we sell fish. Yeah, Ruth is the second grandchild of the family now. <laughs> so funny. I feel so bad though. Um, when my niece was really young, she, I mean, she was like two or something like that. And she startled Ruth one day. I think she like stepped on her tail and I, she was also kind of like brushing her backwards a bit until we had, like obviously had to stop her from doing that. But Ruth, has carried that moment with her forever and anytime she sees my niece like she <laughs> she runs away from her and like kind of hisses a bit i feel so bad because my niece just wants to be loved by an animal like so badly but ruth just doesn't she's not having it she's not having it i felt really bad maybe one day She'll come around, but I'm, I, I don't know, chat. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, we got light blue. Oh, we could also do cyan, right? If we combine it with white dye, I think. Light blue dye, blue. And then maybe we could get some white dye. I know I have some back at the cat town. I think we can make some with bone meal or something. Yes. Is it? That's light blue. How do I make cyan dye? Wait a second. It's not that. That's not the combination. Vimto is a juice drink. You can drink it cold or boil water and drink it hot. Okay, I need to look this up. I think I saw this brand when I was there. You know what? I would love this. The fizzy version looks good. I would probably love that. Yum. Okay, I need to make cyan. I feel like it's such an obvious com combination, but I forget. Is it red? That's purple. I don't know. I don't know colors, you know? I'm gonna look it up. Uh, green. It's green. Oh my god. Of course it's green. My Nana swore up and down that she didn't want an indoor pet, but she ended up taking in some kittens that were born near her house and just fell in love with one of them. He owns a house now. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. Sometimes it's just like you just don't, like I totally understand people who have like fears of animals, especially if you didn't grow up with them. Like in some ways, I'm still like nervous around some dogs because I never grew up with them um, when I was younger, but I've really, I mean, eventually one day I would love to get a dog. But it took me a long time to like, to get there, to be honest. Why does blue terracotta look purple? Huh? 
These look not what I thought they were. Except I want to see what they look like when we burn them. If we can. Let's see. These were not what I imagined. Oh, this looks like... I don't even know. This looks like science. That's all I can describe. Actually, that's, that could be like a cute little like fish design or something. Texas actually experiences a wide range of temperatures contrary to popular belief. Is it normal for snow to happen in Texas? I mean, I guess maybe in certain parts, right? It's wild. Like, I know the last time there... Whoa. No, this looks like science. Oh, it's a creeper face. <laughs> hmm. I think I like this one the best. And maybe this one, too. This one's a little bit much. It's weird, but I like it. But I don't know if it fits the vibe, like having a creeper like face plastered all over this. Uh... That was blue and light blue. I'm going to burn up a little bit more of that. I also do like the, I think, yellow. Is it? What's the one that makes... There's another type of terracotta design that I have. Is it green? Or wait, no. Green is the one that... um. I used for the other shop. They're weird because uh, it's supposed to be mixed with the orange color of terracotta, but concrete powders might be what we're looking for. You're so right. It might be concrete. And same with the concrete powder as well. That looks really nice. Except the white glazed terracotta is cool. Yeah, I might. You know what? I think I might do that concrete powder. How do we make that again? Gravel, sand, and dye. Okay, we can do that. It's because the terracotta starts off with an orangey base color. It mixes with the other co colors differently. I never really considered that. I never considered that. Why did I never think that that would... Like, I always wondered why they looked so weird. But you're also right. Ah! Minecraft has between 2 and 12 colors of blue, depending on what particular flav flavor of color blind blindness you have. That too. Depending on how you perceive blue as well. That is a wild amount of colors that this game has, though. That's crazy. Okay, I need some gravel. I don't know where I have some, though. Probably in storage. Can I fly through here? Oh my gosh. <gasps> I made it. That was a little bit dicey. Yeah, chat, stretch and hydrate if you need to. I'm gonna take a quick little sip of water in a second. And then we're just gonna keep vibing. We've got a little bit le time left of stream. I should probably end kinda soon, but um, we still, we still got a little bit of time left. Gravel. 35. Sweet. Oh, it's nighttime. Bruh. Builds are really stunning. I'm still learning to decorate and put finishing touches on my builds. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Honestly, yeah, finishing touches really transform the builds, I find. That's that's like the one of the biggest things I've learned is uh detailing. There's so many things you'll just like learn along the way too, like different techniques and stuff. Even though it can be tedious sometimes, I think it's really fun. Oh, there's a creeper over there. I mean, I don't think he'll really come near us, but it's just making me nervous having him there, so. 
I really need to torch this place up, don't I? It's kind of something I forget to do. Super random, but the little tip tap sound of a dog walking on the floor is so cute. My dog is walking around the kitchen. Oh my gosh, listen, I'm Zim. <laughs> You're so right. Um, Ruth's little claws make those noise too because we have uh, like laminate flooring. And it actually like, it makes me want to cry how cute it is. Because I'm just like, I'm just picturing her. She's just walking around with what thoughts are even going through her mind. She's a cat, but she also, for some reason, like, I describe Ruth as having so much purpose, yet no purpose at all. Like, what is she doing? You know what I mean? But she walks around like she's got, like, such a busy schedule today. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you're a cat. Where do you have to be right now? It is the cutest thing in the world. It actually, like, melts my heart. Yes. Okay, perfect. I want some of this to be regular concrete powder and then others to be like the actual concrete. Oh, we could also mix it with this too. <gasps> cool. Oh, Sarah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Also, King, welcome on in. It's so nice to see ya. I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great weekend. Also, I'm doing great. Had a pretty uh, restful weekend. Oh, I could just do this. I never considered that. <gasps> Had a really what, uh, restful weekend. Hung out a bunch. Just like got some chores done. It was good. Did some grocery shopping. Now we're working on our cat fish, fish shop, I guess you would say. I grab this one. We also have this one too, which is kind of cool. It would add some yellow in. I think I prefer that one, to be honest. Uh, now I'm like, where should I put this like canopy thing? Maybe along here. I would like to change some of these to concrete powder. Whoops, but I need some string before we do that. I'll do it after. Some of these could maybe be switched out to a textured one as well. Possibly. Nah, that's too much. That's too much. I think the concrete powder is the way to go, though. And the concrete. Whoops. I really enjoy your streams. You're one of the only people that I watch live regularly. Oh, Reaper Kitty, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I mean, I appreciate you all being here and just like being the most vibiest group of people ever. Honestly, I look forward to these streams so much. It's relaxing. It's just as relaxing for me as it is for you guys. And it's, it's all thanks to you all just being like super chill. I appreciate you all. Okay, I need string because I want to put some of this stuff up. I think it would look really good. One moment uh, Pandora is sleeping and then the next uh, because I've gone to get her food scuttle noise. Uh, then they're at the door. Listen, the way cats know that it is an hour before their dinner time, Ruth is like actually at the door like an hour and a half before she needs to eat. <laughs> Just staring at me, giving me like a death stare. And I'm like, I'm on time, bro. <laughs> Come on. I always feel bad though when there's a time change though. I think this year we actually didn't even, um, I think we just kind of changed her feeding time because I felt too bad. This is looking awesome. Heaps of detail. Oh, heck yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. 
I'm very excited about this shop too. We got, um, I had a lot of help with this rooftop today and I think it turned out really cool. Kind of happy that we're working on the, the cat area. We haven't done this in a while. Do you appreciate us enough to say go, to go say hi to the skelly? Listen, I appreciate you so much, but I also want to get this done. Come on, come on. Oh wait, you know what I could do? Hold on a second. We could just put the spruce fence here first and then put the concrete on top, you know? Oh wait, whoops. Oh no. My bad. There we go. Nice. Then I'll put string here so we can switch that one out too. Watching the stream while making a random Minecraft skin? Yo, let's go. Let's go. I wish I was talented enough to make Minecraft skins. I would love to learn something like that one day. Oh wait, no string here. Because we are just gonna put the fencing there. Oops. We have to have a canopy for the fish we're gonna sell here. Otherwise that's a health code violation, you know? All right, this is starting to come together. Looking good, looking good. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do above this though. I'm wondering. Like we have a lot of space to fill here, but I also think what if we did like, hear me out, a little design. Because we could have this, um, this right here, but we could also still do, oops, not that. We could still do something like this and just have it like a double. Maybe a little bit more intricate than that, possibly. I don't know. Like, what if we did, not that this is much more intricate, but that could be kind of cute. That might be too much. I really do love just like the straight line across for all these ones. I might switch this back to stairs for now. And if I think of something different, I'll change it. But I think this is nice and simple for now. Got home late the other day and the um, noises you got from Pandora. Oh my gosh. If me and Big Tiny Duck are like out for a while, the noises that Ruth makes, she like is screaming. But I'm just like, it is the sweetest thing in the world because it just means that she missed us. It is so cute. When we got back from our trip from the UK, like literally she slept next to us all night. She was like my little shadow for the entire week. Um, Big Tiny Duck's mom stayed with her while we were away but she just still missed us so much that's the one thing about like going on vacation and stuff of course i love vacationing but i genuinely miss that cat so so much when i'm gone trained our old kitty doctor to know that he would get fed anytime i just can't wait to be king from the lion king played what Wait, you trained using that song? Huh? See, that's the one thing maybe I wish I had um, kind of taught Ruth was that she could be fed at any time. It's not a huge issue because it's like still, I don't know. She She's okay if we feed her like within the hour, but it would definitely help and allow for like leeway. Fish and chip shop, yeah. Basically a chip shop. 
What could be the, oh wait, we tech, I mean, we could sell potatoes here too, to the cats. Do you think cats like chips? <laughs> if not, they can, they can share them with the humans, you know? They really could. I still wanna do like a little fish logo. Probably won't get that together today. We'll have to figure that out on the next stream, but I think it's starting to look really cute. I would like to get some glass in there as well. Oh my gosh, Blocky's fish bar, Azzy. That's brilliant. I love that. That would be such a good homage. Oh my gosh, we have to do that. Yes. So it is written. You know what? I used to be all about the white stained glass, but I don't know. I kind of just like classic glass now. I have a cat named Fluffy and she's sitting next to me. Appreciate you doing uh, a cat place. Let's go. This is this is for all of the all of the cat homies. Listen, I apologize to all of the dog owners on behalf of Minecraft for not having different dog breeds. Come on. I feel so bad. Y'all just get like a wolf and that's it. So sad. I just tried to kiss Daryl on the head and he fully dodged me. Isn't it the most upsetting thing when cats do that? I'm like, yes, you have a mind of your own, but also that hurt my feelings. What the heck? Come on, Daryl. Don't you know that's just like, it really hurts, hurts the feelings when you do that. Ruth does that to us sometimes too. And I'm like, what the heck, man? Learn most of uh, what you started from uh, Arts by Kev. He has a bunch of videos on how to use the programming block bench. As always, always it's all about practicing. I'm, I might take the take a look at that. I've always wanted to try out block bench. Thank you for that suggestion, by the way. Yeah, the campfires um, for above windows, honestly, they help so much. So, so much for like a little bit of detailing. Let's do that. We can get like a light here. Light there. I need the straw statues Frog uses so you can put Blocky behind the counter working. Oh my God, literally. Straw statues is gonna go into this world soon. I think once I, um, I'm gonna update the instance so this is its own separate thing. Uh, separate from like chill survival and stuff, uh, especially with the map mod. I always forget to turn it off. So that's going to go in there and um, I might put sit as well. We'll see. I don't want to mess around with too many mods, but that will definitely be in there. Um, I think once I fix my computer, I'll probably put those in. I'm not going to do it just yet, just because uh, in the next couple weeks, I'm going to be doing a huge old revamp and guess what? I'll have to re-upload multi MC and all that stuff. So it'll be the perfect time to do that. There is a resource pack called Better Dogs. Changes up the wolves and dogs. Honestly, bless. I'm shocked that there hasn't been like different dogs put into this game yet. It's wild. I don't know how they would add them spawning wise. That is a that's such a fair point. And also there's so many dog breeds. So I guess it's like a little bit more trickier. Um, when you think about it that way, but Am I using any packs? So right now I'm using Germs Better Leaves. And because I'm not on Optifine, I have to use a connected textures mod and also a resource pack for vanilla tweaks um, for the connected grass.
Gotta go finish homework. No worries. I hope it goes well. Thank you so much for hanging out. And good luck with the homework. Hope it goes well. All right, we are getting there. Boom. Gonna add some jungle signs to the planters here. It's still pretty simple. I don't want to over like do too much though, because this one's so busy. But it still does need some like some of its own textures. It is getting there though. I think like maybe something on the like a small little window or something would be cool up there too. Like we talked about before. Yeah, different dogs in different biomes could be cool, actually. I feel like that's one way to go about it. Mm. Jungle. Jungle trap door could be cool. Do I not have any more jungle wood? Might have some back at the base. As long as they don't add chihuahuas. Chihuahuas for being such a small dog. Boy, do they have a lot to say, you know? You're out for the day. Thanks for a cool stream drift. No worries, Shroud. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope uh, the rest of your day goes well. The awnings are so nice. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, BTD just messaged me. I just need to see... Okay, let me just double check to make sure it's actually here. I'm gonna, I'll just leave the game here since we're good. And I will be back in a second. I ran up the stairs. <laughs> Holy. I'm tired now. <laughs> okay. Just need some uh, signs. Ooh, buttons. That's a good idea. Buttons. That's just like the small amount of detail that it needs for the build. I might have missed your, uh, your comments, Bones. What kind of, uh, buttons should we do here? Okay, I'm gonna put these here. You know what? I might put planters around them, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on a second. And then I might have to wrap things up really soon. Uh, if that's cool with you all chat. We got quite a bit done today, though, I would say. Just need... Yes. This. Acacia leaves. Hmm. Hmm. 
Ooh, actually, you know what I might do? Azalea trees there. That'd be kind of neat. BTD message takeout. Oh my gosh, Azzy, we went on a takeout bonanza the other week because we didn't really have food in the house. And it was bad. We're, we're making chicken pasta tonight. Um, but I don't even remember. We had shawarma the other night. Um, and then what else did we have? Oh, we had like these amazing like chicken and rice bowls. So good. But this week, I think we're, I'm going to mostly try to do, uh, like cooked food and stuff. We were, we were bad last week. We were so tired. Gotta go. Projects are, uh, waiting for me. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you, Drift. No worries, Carlos. Thank you so much for hanging out and good luck on all of those projects. Appreciate having you, uh, on stream today. All right, I'm just going to go to sleep really quickly. I think once I start filling all of this in with like mud brick, it's going to look so much better too. Like right now, it still looks like a mess because we have so much stuff around it. But the fact that we already have three builds in here, it just looks like not great because we need to really square this off a bit. That is OK, though. We can, we can fix that. Let's do these ones. Nice. And this. And I think buttons would look good like around here or something. Maybe jungle. I feel like jungle is the perfect uh, like tone, especially because we have a couple of jungle things here and there. Favorite fantasy animal? Ooh, I'm not too sure. What what classifies as a fantasy animal? We got the unicorns. We got the dragons. What else is there? Just gonna go get some jungle really quickly, and then we'll probably be done soon. We have 55 degree Fahrenheit uh, where I live. I'm not good at conversion to Celsius. So would that be hotter or colder? I'm assuming 55 means hot. I'm so bad at Fahrenheit. I'm trying to understand it, but it's really hard for me. Sarah, welcome back. Okay. Just a couple more things that we need and then we're pretty much good to go. Jungle, jungle, jungle. Over here somewhere? Forest, forest. Over here. This is a huge mangrove. I always forget that it's there. 55 is cold. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. What would be hot then? I'm guessing like 70. You know what the funniest thing is? I... We use Fahrenheit in our homes when we heat them with our thermostats. So like, I technically know what warm is. I'm guessing like 71, 72 is warm because that's what our home is at when we have to heat it. You had a budgie too. You loved your bird even when he was noisy. Yeah, budgies are, they were, they were great uh, little companions to have growing up. I really liked having them. Dragons are the best. I'm absolutely obsessed. You make them out of clay. Let's go. That's awesome. I like dragons. I think they're cool. Oh, this is oak. What the heck? Boo. Yeah, I think dragons are pretty cool. Oh, man, more oak. What is going on? I feel like that would probably have to be my favorite type of fantasy animal. I mean, what's not to like about them? They breathe fire. They like fly around. They're majestic, you know?
Where your best friend lives, it's one degree. See, that's getting into cold territory. It's getting into real cold territory. Food acquired, let's go. Is it the chicken and rice? He's hot. Okay, that makes sense. Now, from now on, my benchmark is going to be like 72 because that's like a good temperature to like heat the home. So anything hotter than that is hot. Anything colder is cold. Negative two here and I'm really feeling it. This house is not coping with the co cold. My toes are dying. Jody, I feel that so much deep in my bones and in my toes. Oops. Uh oh. I did not mean to do that. Um, it is like negative 20 here today and my toes are so cold. I'm probably going to like just get under a blanket when I'm done stream. <laughs> I come from a colder state uh, than when I, where I live now, so it's not that cold to you. Yeah, I feel like if I move to a warm place and like because I know cold is different for everybody. That's the thing like some people can't really tolerate like one degree weather but for me i'd be like this is nice how do you get the map uh is it part of minecraft i'm still very new to the game so this is a mod called zero's world map it's super handy you can also make waypoints uh like i put out uh and it also comes with the mini map well you have to s download the two separately uh but it's it's such a good mod very very good mod to have it really helps out below freezing like negative 11 um we still have snow covering the ground outside oh, i wish we still had the snow that that's long gone it pretty much melted as soon as it hit the ground here but now it's just cold so it would have stuck around honestly i really like the squareness of these usually around the corners with stairs and stuff I think it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna try the buttons. Oh my gosh, How to Train Your Dragon. That movie's fantastic. I remember, like, it... It's also, like, really sad, but, like, in... It, just because it's really well written. That movie's beautiful. I kind of want to rewatch that movie now. Ooh, the buttons are perfect, I think. Can't remember the last time you had snow. I love the snow too, honestly. I prefer there to be snow than no snow at all, because at least then the winter's pretty. It's just sad when it's like no snow and just completely cold out, you know? I prefer having it for sure. Wish I could crochet you all some thick woolly sock slippers. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. I would love thick woolly socks. I think I need to get better pairs of socks. I do have some. I just um, forgot to put them on today. Might switch them out when I when I'm done stream though. Okay, I think that's looking good. I really like that. It still needs more detail, obviously, but I think that's a pretty good start. Um, I think that'll probably be it for uh, today though, chat. So I'm gonna be streaming on Friday on Twitch. So do exclamation point Twitch if you wanna catch us over there. We're gonna be starting at 12 p.m. EST, same time that we did here. And we'll probably still be working on this village. We might do some interiors. Uh, on that stream i really want to get started on this one it's going to be super fun we're going to build like a place to sell plants and catnip and all that fun stuff the fish shop uh if we don't get to that on stream on friday which honestly we probably won't that'll be a monday stream back on youtube um chat thank you so much for everything today uh thank you so much for all of the channel memberships all of the super chats all of that stuff and thank you so much just for hanging out i had such a blast with you all time flew by i was like oh my gosh i need to end stream soon we've been live for over 
three and a half hours. That's wild. Time really flew by today, but we got some good work done. So if you want to see a continuation of that, um, head over to Twitch on Friday. We'll be there. Uh, if not, I'll be still be streaming this stuff probably on Monday back on YouTube here. So thank you so much again, uh, everybody. I really, really appreciate you all hanging out with me today. I had such a blast. Lots of fun conversation and stuff. And as always, oh yeah, before I go, I have another video coming out tomorrow for you all too. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be chill survival, just so you know. So with all of that, I will catch you all later. And thank you so much again for everything. I really, really appreciate it. All right, bye everybody.